What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped, and Manscaped sent me the shampoo and conditioner, and I'm not sure why, because I don't know if they know I'm bald, but uh, I haven't tried it yet, but it smells really good, And but I will try it on my bald head and see how it goes. But listen, all you guys out there with awesome heads of hair that I am super jealous of, they have a shampoo and conditioner now, so it smells really good, and all their stuff is quality, so I'm sure it's just as good, but I want to show you guys some of the other stuff they have, because they've really come out with a lot of different things, and it's kind of a one-stop shop for men so the boxers i have really cool um the shed travel bag is the boxers actually are really comfortable by the way the shed travel bag is like a real leather it's actually pretty high quality and it's bigger so you can fit kind of all your stuff in it i haven't tried the mat uh the lip balm i'm gonna try the body wash i have tried smells really good i like it a lot uh, a lot of the stuff i've tried that's good i just i haven't tried the foot duster yet because i don't have a foot odor problem but if you do they have that i haven't tried the cologne yet so i'm looking forward to trying that um but i've tried most of the stuff most importantly the lawnmower 4.0 and then you get the package with everything in it so that's really the best option for like a christmas gift if you're buying something for your man or if you're one of your best friends needs some grooming help this is kind of the best option for you but like i said they have all this stuff for stocking stuffers if you just want to buy one or two things you can use code rbp to save 20% off or and get free shipping. Or you can use code, uh, use the link manscaped.com backslash RBP and get the 20% off plus free shipping. Guys, they have a ton of stuff for gift ideas, stocking stuffers, women, if you're listening, uh, it's easy to buy your man some of this stuff and some, some of them probably need it. So uh, get to manscaped.com, use code RBP. Thanks guys, enjoy the episode. I got you, man. What's going on? How are you? Good. Guy just texted me, says he's going to be late because he's in traffic. So what does that mean? It just always has an excuse. <laughs> we got to start doing like cool shit at the beginning of the episode so that guy misses out and feels like he has to be here on time. <laughs> <laughs> we should. He's fucking late every week. Every, how does he late every single week? Every week he has a story about something. It's, yeah, it's not hard, especially when we plan this in advance. I know, right? Anyway, what's going on with you, man? How are you? I'm good. Just got done training and eating, so I'm chilling. I saw you did a video uh, recapping your year, man. Yeah. How's that? It was good. You, so look, you looked like you were emotional. I did. I got emotional at the end. <laughs> a little bit. So you finally took the time to let it sink in uh yeah i have now i have so for people who haven't watched your video what what's the summary what is it what is how do you feel about your year obviously it's good but i'm a fucking rock star right you were fucking did you know you were a rock star while it was happening <laughs> <laughs> no i i mean it's just now that it, I, I let everything sink in it's like i've done something that i don't think really many or if any has done really you know what I said uh, when it was hap when it was all happening? I think it was after the Arnold. I said something in a wrap up about uh, I don't think we've had an athlete like this since Flex Wheeler. Because yeah. I'm like, for your first year to win the New York and then win the Arnold's is like, you know, I don't know if anybody's done that. But then somebody said, well, it's not his first year; it's his second year. And I'm like, not really. It's my first year. This was yeah. my first like real professional year. Yeah, because I don't consider like. I, I, I jumped into a pro show six weeks after I turned pro. That's not, yeah. that's still amateur to me. That's like me. Like when I got my pro card the very next week, it was a uh, Atlantic city pro. Yeah. And, and I was still like 235 pounds or something. I hadn't put on any size. It was like the week after I got my pro card. I was like two, I think I was 228 or 230 when I got my pro card. And uh, I asked Chad, Chad Nichols was training me at the time. And I said, Hey man, should I do it? Cause I'm like, these guys are a lot bigger. Like I haven't put on any size. He's like, well, you should do it just to see what you're up against, like what these guys look like in person. Yeah. So I went. It was a week after I got my pro card, and I took 15th. There was like 25, 25 guys. Wait, in the show. Was that the show Branch Horn won? No, Atlantic City that year. I think Johnny Jackson won that show, or Darren Charles, one or the other. I think it was Johnny. Okay. But um, but I was 15th, and I think there was like 25 guys or something like that. So I was glad I placed because 
after 15th, they don't place you. It's just like 15th and then yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, I placed, still wasn't good, but like, right. when I think about my career, I don't think about that as my first pro show. Me neither. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I always, cause I, I, after that, I waited a year and then I did the Montreal pro. That's what I consider my first show. Yeah. I pretty, I, I consider New York pro my pro debut technically. Yeah. That's so, my first show. I just thought it's funny because people are like, no, no, he did Chicago. And I'm like, <laughs> it's not the same, man. It's like, I agree. I yeah. agree with that. So anyway, what's going on? So what now, man? Cause I, I, you know, I, I'm doing the analyst thing at the Arnold and I got word of all the prize money and all the stuff they're trying to do this year. And I'm like, you don't have any, you don't have any like inclination to do it. No, I, if it was, uh, in October again, probably, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I need some downtime for sure. Yeah. You would die for like a whole year. I've been go, well, I've been go, go, go since I turned pro. Cause yeah. you know, I did the Chicago six weeks later. And then technically I only had like a two month break between, but by the time I started prep for New York. Yeah. And then like another six week gap before we really now got into it for, um, uh, the Arnold. Yeah. And then two weeks later was the Olympia. Yeah. So I, and I haven't, so I really haven't had like an off season in almost two years. Yeah. Um, and I'm making tremendous progress just by doing that. And, yeah. you know, me and Matt talked about it and he's like, you're 280 pounds and you're still lean as shit. Like, let's just ride this out and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, it's healthier so like, that way. So I'm like, okay, it's, it's, you know, whatever works. Yeah. So, and Ian, my strength's going? coming back really quick too. So yeah. Ian, what's going on? What's up? How are you, man? Good. You? What's up, Nick? I just, What's asked, up, brother? I just asked Nick if he was going to do the Arnold's. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you doing the Arnold's? No. Are you? Why is I'm going to be at the Arnold's, yes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm doing the Arnold's, yes. <laughs> Nick, you're not doing the Arnold's, right? No. no. Are you guys crazy? Why? Do you think Why? we should do the, the Arnold's? $200,000? Okay. I think you both have good reasons not to because you dieted like you I know, eat- listen, I also have to remember I'm 27 man like I'm in no rush he listen. just won the fucking Arnold I mean what the fuck would he yeah. be doing okay just take it easy <laughs> he's jumping down my fucking throat just hear me up for a second <laughs> <laughs> okay I said you both have good excuses because you know Nick pretty much prepped for a whole fucking year or more and Ian you prepped since like June all the way through and you did like five shows or whatever four shows so you both have good reason to take a break but what I'm saying is yeah. if you're healthy, it's 200 grand. Like that's second yeah, but place. Then, but then like for Nick, hey, sure. But then for me, if I don't win it, now I have to do other shows. The season doesn't start till May. So now I'm extending my season till do shows in May, June, July. And then oh, all the way to Olympia in December. Wait, there's no, I haven't looked at the schedule. There's no shows around the Arnold? Not really. There never is though. No, I mean, no they're usually, they're, no, there's usually like the Iron Man, or they change the name, but there's Iron Man or there's the, uh, Australia, which they're not going to do this year, but like, there's usually something around there. Like not usually, man. The only thing that's usually end of March is Indy. And then after that, it goes to May. And then you have like New York, uh, Cali, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puerto Rico, Toronto, like, so, I, you know, I, you're breaking up. I basically would start prep now. And I'd be going all the way to December of next year to the Olympia. That's 12 months. That's too long. Man. That's too long. Yeah, but long. wait, let me, let me talk you into it. So you said. <laughs> Brian Powers already tried. You're not going to win. <laughs> no, no. You said. He did I, try with me too. Yeah. <laughs> you said, if I don't win and I'm like, you're seventh at the Arnold at the Olympia. And I mean, argue, arguably could have beat William and Hunter's not doing it. Cause I, I heard he can't do it this year. Yeah, and Nick's not doing it, so yep. that leaves you. Why can't Hunter do it? What's his problem? I I, I don't want to divulge any information. I just heard I don't think he's going to be doing the Arnold this year. So, um, but that leaves Ian as the favorite. I I don't think I couldn't win the show. Yeah, I'm not. That's not the issue. I think I I care more about. I mean, I just came second at the show, so I don't feel like I have like a huge something to prove there. I don't care so much like obviously 200k would be nice but i'd rather <laughs> focus on winning a show and getting to the olympia and getting in that first call out instead of breaking my year up making it long and then the olympia suffering yeah, by the time it gets to the olympia you might be a little burnt out by that yeah I, and i could tell even this year the olympia was probably my my least favorite of my four looks you know and the, i think they, they were all within five percent of each other but i think that was my worst of the four and i think if i look like i did the arnold 
or how I did at Texas, I could have solidified, you know, a sixth place spot or something. So I think you should do Arnold. And if you, for some reason you don't win, you do Indy and you win that. And then you take a break and then you come in fresh at the Olympia. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot of food, man. It's a lot of fucking money, man. That's like, it's a big deal. That's yeah, what I mean. They raised, the, they raised the prize money, $70,000. Yeah. And for the classic went up to 80 grand or something like that. Yeah. Uh, what's going on, Ian? What's going on this with the last week? I haven't seen you. Talk to you. Um, went to Miami for my birthday. Melissa took oh, me to Miami. That's right. I saw the pictures. How was that? It was good. It was fun. Yeah, it was yeah. actually a lot of fun. I was kind of like apprehensive about it because I'm like, yo, Miami's not really my jam, you know? Like, yeah. like things like Aspen are more my jam, Melissa's jam and stuff. And then Miami's kind of like more party scene, but we didn't do any party stuff. It was nice. We just like went to some nice dinners, relaxed. Um, we how went long, with... Uh, what? How long were you there? Just two nights. Oh, okay. The second night we went to dinner with Laura Lee and her, her boyfriend Aldo, and that was nice. And it was just good. We just like chilled, ate some good food. It was fun. What'd she get you for your birthday? Uh, a pair of Jordans, um, a pair of uh, Louis Vuitton like loafer shoes. Oh, nice! <laughs> nice. And there then, you go. I can't, I can't pull, go. I can't pull those off. Really? I can't, I can't pull those off. I've, I've looked at them. I'm like, I can't. I don't think I can wear that. I have a pair of Gucci ones that are red, and a pair of Louis ones that she just. Got I've, me seen, that I've seen the. I've seen the red, the red ones. ones. You yeah. have to be <laughs> extra special to pull those off. Uh, and then the red yeah, ones are fresh. Me to Miami. Yeah. And then what you sorry, what was the last thing you said, Ian? And then took me to Miami. Okay, let me see here. Uh, oh, one up the okay, so it's not these ones, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What uh I'm trying to oh, let me put put it men's. No, well type red if you want my red ones. I don't want the red ones. I just want to see the various like these. These are like your red ones, right? Uh no, not quite. They don't have any like buckle or anything like that on them. What do the new ones look like? What color are they? They're black with like the gray. Here, I have my ones. <clears throat> Nick, can you pull this off? Hell yeah. No, you can't. I can pull anything off. No, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you don't think Nick can pull that off? No. What? What? I'm the ass man. I can pull anything off. These are these are Ian's Gucci's. These red ones. Yeah, those are them. Yeah. And these I, are the I can't, oh, yeah. I, those are fancy as fuck, bro. There's the Gucci's. One sec, let me stop the share. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I cannot see myself wearing those. It's like uh, not... trying to find my I'm too. I, I think like I have I'm, to go buy me a pair now. I think I'm too traditional for that kind of shit. <laughs> let me see here. Yeah, I'm more of like a, a classic, like a regular shoe. I feel like I need a pair of Gucci shoes now. You Here's should that. you should treat yourself. You made you made enough winnings last year. <laughs> yeah, I could uh, like I could do this. Like I'm more of like a classic men's shoe. These, and these are my Louis ones here. Okay. Man, that's plain. Let me see the Louis. See, I'd wear these. These are cool. Yeah. Let me see. Wait, let me see. Those are dope. See, I like the look. I just can't pull that style off. Wow. Like I, I like the pattern and the you know the black with the yeah, pattern. You pull it all through that. It's not hard, man. Right, you look gonna... good. You just got you just got to wear the right pants, and you can't wear socks with them, obviously. But I've never been a fan of the of the tapered like high pant, like it's and then no socks. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta figure it out for that kind of shoe, you know. Yeah, I can't do <laughs> I can't do that. Let me see your. You gotta see <laughs> One sec. Let me see if I can tapered pant. Uh. Low for shoe. High leg, low for. Yeah, I don't think I could rock that type of type of look. Not the high. You pants. you could not do it. You're you're fucking. Uh... I would look fucking stupid. Okay, wait. I feel like this is this has got Fuad written all over it here. No, no, like this look. Wait, yeah, wait, bro, I went, you're downsizing. You like, got this. It's like, a girl, bro. <laughs> that's what I think of when I see it. <laughs> okay. I wait, also wait. don't roll my pants up like that. Like I don't wear like high pants. Like see there, bottom right. Look, bottom right. One sec. I'm going to men. No, go back. Like this look. Like I can't pull this off. I feel like it looks. Yeah, see, I don't weird. wear my pants that high. I don't do that. Okay, good. I can't. Yeah, I can't. See, like the middle there with the brown pants there to the left one. That's like I'd be like that. Which one? Which one? This one? Oh, you were just on it. Where'd it go? Yeah, there. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I that's good enough. I feel weird when my pants are like if I can see my ankle. Yeah. Like they that. just wear a little longer pant. I mean, it's fine. It still works. Like I would do this. Like that's like 
for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, that's about how I'd be. Yeah, like that. But that's like the shoe and the pant and everything I would wear, like this right here. That's more yeah, my that's, that's more my stuff. For sure. That, but that's more formal. Like I don't wear these, yeah. like I don't wear these to like a black gown event. Like I wear them like, you know, with you know, decent pants or even Wait, jeans, like see, out to dinner, you know. See see this. So this guy's got ankle showing. Yeah. This this guy over here's got no ankle showing. Yeah, you don't have to. That's what I said. You don't have yeah. to. It's I think it's the ankle that throws me off. Yeah, but you're Arab, man. That's like that's your thing. I know. You know? <laughs> no, it's like, I'm not Arab enough. I, I guess. It's like, <laughs> I was born in Canada, so I have some. Canadian. No, you got the beard and the chrome dome. Like this is right down your look. <laughs> you, you need like a nice like colored shirt or like a V neck, a nice tight V neck. The chrome dome. No, this. See, look. There's a, this is a good contrast. This is. Yeah. I, I couldn't do this. I could do this. But yes, this is more formal. So. Yeah, it depends where you're wearing it. You know, like that's more me. Like if I was going to go to like a formal event, yes, I would wear normal slacks, like normal pants with dress shoes. I wouldn't wear my Louis or my Gucci. Nick, what do you think? You got to have the pant all the way down or you show an ankle? I mean, I, I would have to throw the pants like, all the way down. Like this guy here. Yeah, that's, see, I can't do that. I can't pull off the ankle. Look. This one's no, doable. This one's doable. I could this do one. that. That's yeah. doable. Yeah. But I'm not rolling my pants up. That's not me. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do the roll, the pants rolled up look. Like this is too much. Yeah. You like that's look like at a, the one that's to the left of that. Guy, to the left of that. Go left one. This one? No, that's up. Go left. Oh, this one. Yeah. Could yeah, you rock that? Yeah, that's good. I could do that. Yeah, just a little that's bit. That's of... how. That's how I would wear it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Um. Oops. What happened there? Get out of here. Gotta click the whole thing. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know why every time I go to Instagram, it goes to this guy's page. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even know, you... I, I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> Most pretty dude, I, don't, I don't think I have any pictures with me in the shoes, do I? Yeah, you do. You have one with the, the red, red ones. The right? red ones. That's the first one I've ever, I ever saw you wearing it. I was like, what yeah. the fuck? I think it was just on the story, though. I don't know if it's on my... Oh, way. that's right. You're right. You're right. It might be on the story. Yeah. Well, I need to get my shoe wear in line because I feel like I dress okay, but my shoe, my shoe... Yeah, I don't have a lot of dress shoes. Yeah, I, I don't have a. Mainly wear like Jordans or like Metcons. I have a couple pairs. Like I might have like two pairs of like dressy kind of boots. You know, I have that. Like ones that like zip up the side kind of thing. Yeah, I have those. Uh, I got a My... pair of tins. That's about it. A pair of tins. Yeah. yeah. These are you're gonna. And I've got gonna... like maybe two or three pairs of dress shoes, then the two fancy ones. Yeah. I feel you like I gotta are... get my dress game up. Yeah. You guys are gonna laugh at me. This is like my. This is like my. You favorite. got a nice suit made for the Olympia, though, right, Nick? I did, yeah. Yeah, so you got a nice suit, though. You just gotta get some some good shoes. Well, you got shoes with it too, though. Just dress shoes. Yeah, but I want to get cool shoes. I want to get like these Gucci. I have two pairs of these. I have a tan like pair and, and a black pair. Yeah, the flat sole like that. Yeah, I have a similar. They're really casual though, so I need like a, a in between shoe that's like not yeah. casual but not dressy. Yeah, that's what I, I have. A pair of Tim's. Yeah, but pair of pair of what? Pair of Tim's, bro. Pair of Tim. No, I can't do that. Baby yeah, blue, bro. powder blue, powder blue Timberlands. <laughs> Absolutely. Now we're talking. These ones. <laughs> this is Max Charles written all over it, right here. Yeah, this is Max Charles. Workout. <laughs> this is Max Charles workout apparel. I when we worked, we went to Side Tech everywhere we traveled with Max. Uh, Max was the only person in fucking Europe wearing Timberlands with jeans. He looked is so. Max fucking... Charles doing Toronto Pro. I don't know. He would win. I I just saw. One of my Is buddies he... from Toronto posted a picture of him in the gym together with him. Well, I think Max would win that show if he did it, or would have a very, very good chance of winning. Uh, I don't know what the I haven't seen any competitor list. I know a few people that are doing it. Yeah, where's Fitness Three Six Five? It's in, in uh, Scarborough. Yeah, so I mean, or not, Max not Charles, in Scarborough, but Max Charles is there right now. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know. That's crazy. He would. Uh, Who's definitely... coaching him? Good question. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, not Milos. Yeah. He, got, he, got, he got annoyed with Milos and left. He got mad at Milos for helping other people. Yeah. I don't know. Um, if that's, I don't know if that's reasonable or not. Should we go over Toronto Pro? Did you guys go over it already? Yeah, I was just gonna say that since you brought it up, we should talk about it. And stop talking I mean, about shoes, like I guess. Seven guys in the show. Yeah. I don't know who's in it though. So Stanimal. Stanimal. Uh okay. Eric, Aaron Golly. Do you have the list in front of you there? No, I'm who's making that? it right now. Uh Joel Thomas. Yeah, Joel, Joel Thomas. Thomas. Joel Quentin Seaman, Raya, Joe Seaman, Joe Seaman, Quint. Uh, I'm going to say Max since he's in Toronto. Uh, he's not on the list. 
But if he's in Toronto, I mean, why else would he be there? Unless he has a sponsor. Unless he's but... working a booth, but yeah. Hassan Jam is doing it. Oh, uh, I can't. I was so happy for Hassan got his pro card. Like thir- thirty attempts it took him finally got Fucking the broker. Fucking cares, man. That's crazy. It's kind of like oh, that's the, awesome. It's I'm like so the happy it, for him. it's like the raw. You know what's crazy about Hassan is he's always and I should bring him up so people know what we're talking about. He's always had yeah. really really crazy body parts and even like a good yeah. flow. I'm gonna. Uh, he's a friend of ours from. Uh, I've known Hassan. Hassan was like the first bodybuilder I ever met. I coached Hassan. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I was Hassan was coaching me when you were coaching him. Are you serious? Yeah, that's hilarious. Ooh. Uh, I can't find, him up. Why can't I find his fucking uh, thing? Who's his name? Oh, there it is. Jam Jam Stunna. Stunna. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Jam Stunna. Um, This is Hassan. So he's got big quads. This is old. This is 194 I, pounds. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, this hard. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Where's he been? Is this recent, Ian? Yeah. Look at after a million years of competing and many runner ups and almost quitting, I could finally say I got my FBB Pro. I am an IFBB pro. Good for he him, man. Small. He's not he's a heavyweight here. He's not he overly big. He used to be big. really big. No, no. Like, he's always been like it, competing in the same kind of weight range. I think I when felt you, like he was bigger. I think when you see him in the off season, he's yeah, it's off really season thick. He's huge. Yeah, he's he gets, really thick. Yeah. He gets really, really thick, and then as he gets more shredded, he maintains a lot of his size, but it definitely looks more streamlined. It doesn't look as. But he's a big guy. He's got big back, big legs. I don't really know why he never won. It's almost like, I don't know, somebody more traditional. He doesn't have a traditional bodybuilding physique. No, it was like, yeah, he would always just lose to like, there would be like one guy that would just end the edge him out, you know? Yeah. And yeah. even he did win some shows, like some pro qualifiers win his class and then would lose the overall, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is an impressive physique. Yeah. Nick? Yeah. What do you think? I think that looks good, yeah. Look at these quads. Yeah. Fucking quads. And he trains hard, too. You know, he's got training videos always up and he's always squat and heavy or, for sure yeah yeah good for him man i'm happy That's... i mean he's got like a legit like he's like done you know an airspace engineer job he's got k- two kids you know three this kids is now. this is what you're used to seeing nick three kids <laughs> yeah that's a big boy right there. how big he looks there 200 but he's only this weird thing is he's only 282 but he looks like over 290 or yeah when you see him in person he looks like he's 300 pounds yeah yeah well good for you hassan congratulations man do you remember that oh go back there do you remember that magazine there one sec what magazine <laughs> what magazine there do you remember this one? Oh, this this is so old i think i do but yeah I, this was like one of the first bodybuilding magazines i had he had a full spread in this i remember seeing this wait what ma- is this is a muscle mag is it yeah i think so yeah that's old. crazy crazy yeah look at him here fuck and i think he has two kids doesn't he? i know he has a one i know he yeah, has he's one three. he's three, three. So he has There's three. His, son, his son's the oldest. Then he has a dog. Is that his fucking two. dog. Then they just recently had another one. No, he doesn't have a dog. So that's what I'm going to do. My dog. He's got like an aerospace job, three kids, and he still turns pro. So fuck, good for him, man. Oh, Ditto Shacks. Ditto Shacks trying to get his pro card this week too. Yeah, Ditto Shacks competing. He'll be heavyweights. I got a guy in the heavyweights too. <clears throat> Let me see. Ditto Shack Dorian's doing the show this weekend. I think. Yep. Um, look at how fucking did a shack looks right now. <laughs> this picture is so wild. I saw this. I'm like, is this the mirror? Like, this is the cra- one of the craziest looking pictures I've seen. I don't know, man. If it's one of those mirrors where you, well, how much bigger. does this guy weigh? He's a heavyweight like, on stage, like 212, 215. That's two fucking 12. Yeah, well, that's that's why I'm like, is it the mirror? This guy looks normal though. If that's yeah. the mirror, I want that mirror. This is this is the upstairs at West Coast Iron. I want that mirror. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's the mirror or not, but he looks fucking. He fucking looks nutty. nutty. Yeah, yeah. So this is crazy. more. We'll this see. Is more, this is more normal, but what? This is four weeks out. But like, even oh, looking, look, he other looks way different. Muscular. It still looks crazy. Look at the other most muscular there. Yeah. He's. This yeah, is his. This is. This is his shot, though. He's got great shoulders. Yeah. Crazy good arms. round delts. Yeah. 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 Good for him. This is a little bit better back shot here. He's got good. I mean, this is four weeks out, so you can't really see everything. I got my, uh, I got a guy in the heavies as well. Do Justin. You? Yeah, he looks good. What's his name? J- He's my, my dancing guy, Justin. Uh, type in JJ. J- uh, I think it's JJ Man of Steel. Yeah, there. The yeah, third right one. there. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's doing the heavyweight. Yeah. 
looks good. He's in shape. Yeah. He's got he's got Ian shape. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. His glutes even look like yours. How'd you do that? No. How'd you manage that fucking <laughs> your, your your training style? My it's my glute secrets, bro. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna put out a glute ebook. <laughs> yeah. He looks good though, eh? He does look good. He's in shape. He's gonna have a tough time with like Ditto Shack and Dorian. I don't yeah. know if Dorian Dorian's gonna be a heavier super heavy. I'm assuming Dorian will be heavy. Dorian's heavy. doing it. He's supposed Justin's to be, as be far in a lot as I better know. Shape. This guy would be in a lot better condition. It's just gonna come down to structure, you know. Yeah, he looks like King Kamali here from the back. Yeah, that's a yeah. King Kamali. That's a King Kamali back. Shot the shots he's gonna lose the most on. Like his front double is not incredible, and his back double is not incredible. But like he's got a good most muscular. He's got some good side shots. Like if we're back being lat, his back lat's really good. If we're being dead honest, I just the only thing that really is throwing me off is the quad start low. Yeah. Like his quad start high, you mean? We, well, low. Oh, they're I'm talking, the about fr- I'm talking from the hip. Uh, yeah. So yeah. they come all the way down. They start like halfway uh, down. So like, yeah, right. Yeah. So that's the only thing that kind of throws me off a bit. But he's got a good physique. Other than that, a hey, good detail, good condition. Yeah. Guy, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, it's guy, what's up, man. What's up? Still, still in traffic? Um, I mean, I'm I'm getting there slowly. Oh, Show today. Up. Why do you have? It's like night. Nice, it's like. It's nice out today. It's like 50 something degrees and I, it's like every car in the world is out. Why do you consistently disrespect us by being late every week? <laughs> Listen, I could easily just not show up and fucking throw a you month could not, in your You could not you could, in advance, guys. You couldn't not show up. You love us. I texted Fuad prior to one o'clock and said, hey, 115 question mark. I'm fucking. You been text 50. me at one o'clock after I text you. That we're starting. Well, guy, it's one twenty-four, so one fifteen wouldn't have done shit anyways. Okay, you're like no, 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 no. Because I tried. Well, first of all, I tried to log on, and if we had looked at his text messages, I said, "Hey, did you start?" Because I've been in the room waiting to fucking join, and it's not letting me in the room. I sent you all links, and then at the I, same time. I got back out and then came back in. You're such an ass. Excuses. I did. Something I not text you. Excuses. It's always everybody else's fault. You're still late. I got Nick, two new- you probably don't even know what they were talking about for the past 15 minutes, so just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Nick was here <laughs> first. I was, he was here first. We were talking about shoes. We were talking about shoes in the shoe game. Yeah. Nobody and- knows more about the shoe game on this podcast than me or I oh. knew. I knew he here was going to say that. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. I I me knew- or- wait, wait, hold on. I said me or Ian. I oh. said Ian and me. me he can fight. Ian he can fuck. He knows shoes. He can cook. He can hunt. This me guy's just or- a fucking guy. Just Guys, it's just the just American the dream. Color, baby. Yeah. Nobody knows more except me and Ian. Um, I said on the podcast, oh, you know about shoes? You wear Converse. And Converse Nick are great. And Nike fucking shoes. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't like Converse. I don't wear that. No, uh, the Converse are no good, bro. Chucks are fucking awesome. Fuck you guys. They're great. <laughs> as soon as I saw Nick, as soon as, as, soon as, as soon as I saw what Ian had on at the meetup, I was like, my, my, my kind of dude. He had his fucking retro. Was it four? Did you have your fours on? Yeah, I had my my Oreo fours on. I don't yeah. even know what the Those fuck that is. Ones. I don't even know what that is. I like the Oreo. That's why on. I said me and Ian know more about shoes on this podcast. Wait a minute. Too. What is that? No more about shoes. You just have a different taste. Your no. taste is Converse squat shoes. What is what is NC. what did you say, Ian? What is the shoe you're talking They're about? Jordan fours Oreo. Jordan. Oreo. <laughs> Oops, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> Who had these? It's a who had, in Fuad's mind, I'm like, is it a cookie? It's gonna, it's, it's gonna look nothing like he thinks it's gonna look. Uh, it's close. Bottom right. It's See, close. bottom right. Bottom right. This one. Yeah. Yeah, I got those. They're fire. Man, yeah. It doesn't do it for me. It's too clean. What? Yeah, sick. All right. I got the, have I got the about they dress so clean. <laughs> Fuad, buy them. I'll take a piss on them, and then you can wear them. They'll be okay. dirty. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> look it. This is it no. right here. Boom. This is this is what emo girls wear when they're like 16. Oh no, my it's not. God. I wear the one. I Look at that. That's black. fucking beauty wear, with the black laces. That's the fucking that's the I shoe. The, <laughs> not I would never wear those. It's Why? Not it. You're missing it's out. It. Look at Look no at that. Way, that's no. fucking a beauty. That is the ugliest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> if you want a shoe, if you want a shoe with 
You know how Zero long I, angle support. You know how long yeah. I wore Jordan's. No structural integrity whatsoever. Oh yeah, because you guys are fucking cross. Because you guys are cross training. You need all the structural integrity. Fuck you yeah. guys. They make your shoes for <laughs> basketball. They make your shoes for basketball players. You fucking assholes. Not guys sitting on yeah. a leg press. Yeah, exactly. See for all that like lateral movement. Yeah, support, for all you know? for all the pivoting you're doing in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> no I man. Gotta- what you got to what? I got to keep myself limber from my fucking basketball chops. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? No. Um, no, I had a Jordan phase around the same age as you guys. Well, not you guys, but it was around, around the same age as Ian and Nick. I did Jordan. All I wore was fucking Jordans. And then I just got away from it. Yeah. Like, well, I'm like, why am I wearing I will, say, I will say this. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of shoes and probably 90% never been worn. And I'm like, why did I buy all these shoes? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I wear like two pairs of my shoes. I mean, I'll yeah. yeah. Um, I have a pair of LeBrons that I wear like every day, a pair of black and uh, green LeBrons. And then I have a pair of ones I wear pretty often. These, and, the, and then those oh, fours. And that's it. These are my favorite shoes. I, I have these. The Jordan boxers. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking amazing. I trained in them yeah. for the longest time. You and don't really they're... find those anymore, though. That's a hard shoe to find. You can't find this at all. I could sell these for like eight eight hundred bucks if I wanted to, but I love the them. The shoes that I wear, below those with those Under Armour shoes, are fucking your Under Armour gang shoes gang. with the space fucking ankle are nasty. Oh yeah, those they're are so gro- those are so gross. I dude. get, I get. First of all, the only reason I those shoes are any good for you are because your pant leg is so fucking big. You- that you have to the stuff your pants. You, you know stuff your pants. I you can't <laughs> use my joke against me. That's not your joke. Podcast. What are you talking about? That's I just That's said why that. I wear them. I've said it before. I've I never heard you say that. that. Yes, I. I literally. Said a guy it. used to wear the Under Armour shoes safely. Not called space shoes. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Go boxing shoes. They're boxing. They're right shoes. there, asshole. This is them. That's not them. Yes, they are. Yeah, that's, that's what he used to that's wear. That's what he. And he doesn't lace up. Yeah, that's that's them. I have that. I have that. Yeah, that's it. Look how yeah, nasty this is. And he doesn't lace up the are... top. And no, I, I, I wear those. He doesn't lace up the top. So this back part just flares out. Flops so he can, out. Yeah. So he can stuff his big fucking baggy pants into his ankle. And his train. full rectal yeah. gas pants into his ankles. Yeah. yeah. That's why. <laughs> hey, dude, I've said it on a million interviews. I wear them because the gas pants were you were so long that I would step on them constantly. So I, that was the only shoe that I could throw the fucking pants in the back of and never have to worry about stepping on yeah, well, I, we fixed that. I, I helped your wardrobe. Now you wear normal size pants. So they're really just. No, I, still, I, I, I still wear the shoes, buddy, buddy, every day. I know they're not, but that looks even worse now because they have this big fucking ankle and like tapered pants going into it. First of all, I, there's only <laughs> there, there's only a threshold of what I'll allow you to change about me, and that stopped at tight shorts. <laughs> Come on, man, those shoes are nasty. Seriously, they're, they're the they're, best. Listen. You know, who, you know who got that from? You got you got that from Sean. Sean wears them like that too. It's a it's a toss up between those and the Chucks. I'll give it to you. <laughs> no, you think the Chucks are better or worse? Chucks are cooler than those shoes. It's, yeah. it's pretty close. Yeah, no. bro. The Chucks are like just like paper like paper thin material. That's why they're so like comfortable. Oh, no, That's no. why they're comfortable. I put them on you like know fucking. What you're gonna do? Why don't you just Why don't you just wear a sock? I train socks sometimes. No, I like the I hard. I, I like the hard sole. And they fucking look. And they look cool. They look cool. They're understated. They're like, yeah, I don't care. They're like, I don't feel. I don't care. I just wear my chucks. I don't need to buy three hundred dollars shoes. I got fifty dollars chucks on. Uh, yeah, it's a whole. It's a whole they, thing. The fact that they call them just chucks. That's bad. Okay. They're just like stinky emo teenager shoes. You know? <laughs> stinky emo teenagers. Stinky emo teenagers. Yeah, do the shoes come with fucking ears, ears and a tail? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we talked about shoes for like literally the first. You got to go over hour. Toronto Pro list. We were starting that. I don't know who's in it. We only know like five guys that are in it. I, I have the list right here. I have it right here. Where is it? Okay. You want me to read it to you? Well, you can. What, 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 what Instagram are you? If on? you just tell me, I'll pull it up. Oh, it's on ifbbpro.com. Oh, okay. okay. Share your screen. I'm going to in a second. I'm, I'm well, going to show you where to find it. After I go through the search, I don't want Guy to see anything. After I clear my search engine. Yeah. Guy <laughs> <can make laughs> now, hey, hold on. Okay, now that middle banner, <laughs> go to the right. Like, move the banners, you know, like, yeah. I don't know. See how there's an arrow on the middle banner the there? What are you talking about? No, 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 bro. Are you fucking? Go back. Okay. 
Go back. Okay, see this middle banner of Texas? There's yes, an arrow on the right side. Scroll through it oh, until okay, you find I Toronto. I got you. Fucking relax. You guys are fine. You guys are really aggressive today. <laughs> you guys up, you guys up I'm your driving. Next one. There, no, click that. Is it because you guys are off? Is that why? You should be nicer. Oh my God. Why is your off thing so slow? There you go. Okay. okay That's it. So Online guys. This is it? Yep. Wait, let me see if I can. I'm taking a diuretic tonight and flying to fucking Canada. <laughs> I'm going to drive up tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Khaled, Victor, Quinn. Do we know who this Khaled Aaron. Al-Kazim is? Yeah, I think we looked him up before. I don't know. I don't. Th- if it's the guy I think it is, I don't think he can. There he is. Oh, it went away. Where the fuck did it go? No. There he is. Yeah, that's the guy I was thinking of. Oh, this he's, guy. He's yeah. big, but I don't think he can. He yeah, can. no, I remember him. I've met him. Yeah. How okay. fucking old is this guy? <laughs> old enough. Uh, Victor. He looks Victor, 60 in the face. You know who Victor is? Yeah. He's all right. Carlos, is is that the smaller guy? Uh, I can't remember. The only uh, name I know on this entire list is Stan. Well, I know most of them because they're Canadians, but. I know Joe Thomas. What was yeah. the. Uh, Carlos Longoria. Let's just see, just in case. That can't be him. No. Okay. We'll just. I think really it's between Joel and Quinton. Yeah. If we're looking at, I think Joel based on, I mean. I'm going to go Quinton. If yeah, Quinton can beat, if, if Quinton can beat his conditioning from pro or from Romania, then yes, he'll win. But I know Joel's in really good shape, but Joel yeah. is sl- like a little on the thin side. Um, Joe Seaman is good, but I mean, obviously his structure is what. <laughs> Tim, male or female? <laughs> <laughs> I Dan, think uh, I don't think Dan's quite in good enough shape for the show. I think Joe Seaman's going to win the show. You think Joe? Because uh, for one, for one, re- no, for one reason. Because I think Quint is going to be listen as amazing as Quint is. If he shows up the way he showed up in Romania, he's not going to be hard enough. Because Joel is going to be fucking peeled. The only and, thing with and Joel Joe is Seaman, a- Joe Seaman will also be peeled. So. Yeah. Those, the they're going to get Joel, and I don't know if this is like a, a mind muscle thing or if he's fixed it now is go to his Instagram and pull up him doing some like back shots. He never flexes his glutes and the guy's like peeled out of his mind. I think so his glutes always look soft. I think he's fixed it because the most recent photos I've seen of him, he was had stripped hamstrings. Yeah. Hamstrings, but not his glutes. I think the glutes were in too. Let me see. Well, his glutes are always in, but he doesn't flex them. No, this is, this is, I'm not talking about Joe. Oh, you, who are you talking about? Joel. Joel. Oh, Joel. Yeah. Sorry. A lot. Some guys fucking stick their ass like out, like push it out. You know, because Peter, go they down. Don't you'll have, see. They, they don't have the but I mean, you'll see he's peeled it. Like, look at that photo on the left there. No, up with him staying with AJ Sims. Uh, or any stage shots. Like, see, he's peeled out of his mind. But then, if you find oh, a back, start, shot, he had to start a new Instagram, I think, because his last oh. one. Back. So this is all he's got. Let me see if there's tagged photos. I mean, chest, shoulders, arms are crazy. Yeah, nuts. But I do agree with you. Is a little bit. I mean, I, I haven't competed against him in fucking years. But the last time I competed against him, he was smaller than I remember thinking yeah. of him on Instagram. Like I saw him on Instagram, yeah. I'm like who the fuck is this guy? And then when we competed, he was a lot smaller in person than I thought he was. Yeah. So, so I, I think. Be, be, so I think. Be, what'd you say? Did he beat you? No. So to <laughs> so <laughs> because Joel is smaller. Quint is bigger, but conditioning might not be there. I'm going to go with Joe Seaman. Because I think Joe will be the biggest guy that's in the most shape, even though his structure, his shape won't look. I don't know, man. Quint looked pretty good at that last show. He was in decent condition. I got Quint. He's missing, he's missing something. He's, he's like, still missing some stuff through the back, but I mean, he's... No, he's I don't mean I, I don't mean muscularity. His conditioning is like... Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull up the last show. It's like there, but... Well, he's not He's not dry enough yet. I'll, I'll agree with you there, but... I don't even think it's dryness. It looks flat to me. It's, it, his condition is there. I think it's a, a peaking it's, issue. It's a, it's a, there's a flatness because, like, here, look, everything's in. Low back. Look at dry. that. Yeah, glutes center, are dry. Center one. No, go to the center one. I know, I know. I'm just showing, like, he's, oh, in, he's, wild. In, he's in condition. But then when he gets on stage, it's like, it doesn't feel like, like, this yeah. should be, this should be harder because of the condition he's in. Something's not. It almost looks like the muscle's not pushing enough. Yeah, he is a little flat. You can see through his upper body. 
his chest and shoulders. You see the difference here between uh, Barus and Quint? They're in the same condition as far as body fat goes. But when you look at the thinness of the skin and the way the muscles pushing against the skin, Quint looks softer. Yeah, there's and a, a to hardness me, and a pop to it. There's yeah. not the same hardness as there is with Barus. And I think that's a fullness issue. Yeah. So I don't, if they, if they kind of, yeah, but it's not a conditioning issue. Cause if you look here, like everything is there and you see how like this skin, this to me, isn't fat. This is like a, almost like a droopiness. Like the muscle's not full enough. Yeah. It depends that you need to squeeze it and feel what it feels like. But, but it, get it on the computer, I'll be back. In two it seconds. looks like that. It looks yeah. like that thinner, you know, you, you know, when you get really, really lean in and you grab like the skin on your like glove handles, it's really thin. Yeah. It kind of looks like that to me. Yeah, the body fat does look low, but yeah, it's just not super dry yet. It looks, it just looks, it looks flat to me. Like it does, because you can see, because you can see, you can see here, like his legs are fuller than his upper body. They're pushing a little bit more. So, yeah, I don't know. Just if he comes in better, I think definitely he can win. He's got the best. um, He has the best physique. Yeah, like in terms of yeah, best physique in the show, guaranteed, hands down. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, and then there's um, a very Canadian heavy show for sure. Just for one, just to, to show. So we were fair to everybody. You going to show Joe? No. Well, I was going to show Joe, but I was also going to show. Um, why isn't, why is Aaron? Am I spelling his name wrong? How do you spell it's not A-A. Wrong? It's uh, E-E. Isn't it E-R-I? Uh, I can't remember how it, 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 it it's E-I-R. Oh, that's why. E-I-R. E-I-R. E-I-R-N. Yeah. Okay. E-I-R. That's why I was getting that wrong. So Aaron Golly is, uh, he's always like lagging a little bit in the lower body, but his condition is nuts. And people have to remember this guy's like, yeah, see 280. So he's like, yeah. he's well over six foot. Yeah. I think he's like six one or something like that, but you yeah, can he's see a here, big guy. you see here, like the leg is a little thin Yeah, compared to the thing. Yeah, yeah. So that might be the knock on him. And that's why I think Joe can get ahead of him because Joe's blockier through the waist, but is more complete head to toe. Let's see that front lad he has there. That's like his, his a good shot, but the quad, like you see how thick his upper body his is. His legs are down. His legs are small. Yeah, I mean he's a taller guy. The legs need to come up for sure. He, tra- but... he trains super hard. Like I've seen him train legs. He doesn't fuck around. I think it's just a genetic. Like I don't know. They just need more time because he did start bodybuilding kind of late. Yeah. So yeah, he's a big boy though for sure. Yeah. And then we have, and the reason I think Joe is can get his first win i just think he has a kind of a combination of everybody a little bit you know he's he's very complete the only knock on him i think is the thickness a little bit of thickness through the midsection but his conditioning is all there he's got a ton of muscle i just want to see if i can find a stomach shot so people can see like this is him on stage like he's fucking peeled and he's everything is there like he's proportionate Uh um Look at the fucking back width there. Look at this. Look at this fucking lat spread. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, he pulls a vacuum. I didn't even know that. That's good. But you can see even in the vacuum, like his stomach is, it's not distended, but it's just a wider rib cage. Yeah. It's just the, the taper from lat to, uh, to waist to quad is not like a huge V taper, you know? Yeah. And I, and I don't even think, honestly, don't even know if it's like, if it's obliques, it almost looks like his rib cage is just so big. Like you see here, like, but I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Like, let's go through it. Ian, do you think Joel can beat him? Yes. <sighs> Dude, this guy's like twice the size of Joel though. He's got a lot more muscle than Joel, but I don't know. It's tough. And he's going to be in similar condition. I have Quentin, Joel, and then Joe. I think I agree with Nick. Yeah, I'm I'm worried about Quentin's. I'm worried that they they might not be able to correct his condition. I don't know. I think uh, I think this last that this last bit of the season shape shape is in right now, and I think they're going to reward Quentin. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out on a limb and go Joe Seaman, and then Quint, and then Joel Thomas. Are we better or no? Uh, <laughs> uh, Two Guy doesn't ever want to bet when he doesn't know the guys, which is like half the time. <laughs> well, half the, the the last like three bets, nobody like fucking did what they were supposed to. So, well, Paul still There's owes a- us. Paul still owes us a nipple piercing, and Roman still owes us an eyebrow piercing. 
Yeah. And why don't we, why don't we just do this until somebody pays their bet? They can't get back on the podcast. <laughs> I'm good with that. Okay. Fair. That'll be the rule from now on. Very fair. Okay. So do you guys want to bet on this one? Sure. No. no. <laughs> Betting on a seven man show. Stop being a fucking bunch. Who of cares? Men. We're only going to bet on the top three. Anyway. I mean, that's good. That means your odds are better, man. There's less guys, less for you to fuck up. Yeah, but I'm shooting in the dark, Ian. You know, yeah, you're, you know, you know, you're shooting in the dark with nine guys instead of 25. You know who Quint is, you know who Joe, Joe Seaman is, and you know who Joel Thomas is. That's going to be your top. And, three. and you know, who Max Charles is. And if Max is doing the show, I got Max winning. Let is me Max find out Max is the show. I'll find out right now. All right. Well, he's uh-huh. fine. Who are you, guy? Nick, you don't, yes. Nick, you don't, uh, you don't think Max can win? No. Really? I don't think he could either. No. Really? Max isn't good enough from the back, man. His condition I'll take is that bet. very lagging from the back. I'll take that bet. 100%. I'll take that oh, bet. Oh, man. He got the notebook out. You guys are in trouble. He got the <laughs> notebook out. <laughs> oh, shit. Big trouble with a notebook. Can I, can, can, can I ask for, uh, you know, I'll just pull him up. Joel Thomas. I, I already pulled every. Oh, you were driving. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nick, Ian, guy. J O E L T O T H O M A S. Yes. If Max is in it, I would put him before Joe. Yeah. Yeah. But you think Quint's going to beat Max? Yes. If Quint, listen, if Quint, I, I, the only, pro- I, I agree with you 100%, Nick. If Quint's in shape, he will beat everybody. If his shape is on 100%, he will beat everybody. I just think they need to feed him. I think it's just a peaking issue. I know. But if I don't know what they're doing with diuretics and if it's, they're still doing the oh, same. Well, yeah, that too. Right, because if they're feeding him and they're giving him more diuretics than he needs, it's gonna be flat it's, again. It's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what their peaking protocol is. I don't, I don't, I haven't talked to him about it. But Joe Tom, who's, who's the other guy? Seaman. Joe. Joe Seaman. Joe Seaman. <laughs> male Seaman. <laughs> did you Did you see that? Oh, the male Seaman, female Seaman. Yeah, I saw it. These fucking. How guys. do you spell his, his guy's name? Joe S E E M A N. Yeah, it's not like Seaman. It's like C. Well, it is. It's just. Is it, is it is it coach little joe is yes, it? yes 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 brett was convinced that female ejaculate was semen he's like it's the same thing i'm like it's not the same thing Me and <laughs> and nick was on his nick was on his side <laughs> did you guys google it and get the answer well because I, I can understand <laughs> i mean there's obviously not sperm to it because like, that's what semen is i'm pregnant yeah but that's what semen is so we were laughing our ass off okay so and who's quint quint naraya quint naraya it's beastwood this guy doesn't know who Quinn is. Do you, follow, I got him. do you follow bodybuilding at all or you just chop wood all day? No. I'm... <laughs> like, try, try, <laughs> try to chop wood. Chopper, you. you know how many people sent me this dude chopping wood that like can do it with like one shot? All right. First of all, that yeah. guy, <laughs> watch the fucking video. The fucking log. Pre split. It's, it's got to be. It first of all, it looks like it was pre split, number one. Number two. Oh, here we go. It had here to be. Go. 10 years dried out. Here we yeah. go. It's pre-split, dried out. Was, I saw up, the Ian, back me up. Ian, back me up. Yeah, he's right. fucking Ian, know. Right. Ian's just trying to make you know it. I've been watching. Have you guys watched? I, it's weird that you know how like iPhones fucking listen to you and shit, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. What? We were at we were at Dom's for Thanksgiving, right, yeah. Nick? Yeah. And we were all we were all sitting and Savannah was telling me or telling us how she likes to watch this show Forged in Fire. Have you guys watched this shit? No. Forged in Fire, where they fucking make like swords and shit. It's sick. Yeah. My phone must have heard her talking about the show. So I go home the next day. All my YouTube is recommending is just fucking Forged in Fire. Forged. So now I'm watching is that. Let me tell my phone. Forged in Fire. Remind me later. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever see the, did you ever see the series Alone? No. 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 Oh, actually, Fuad might not like it because he would, he would be, he'd be last for an hour. They take oh. 10 people. Actually, right now it's in British Columbia. And they drop 10 people off in like the fucking oh, middle of the this. Oh, and they're, they're, they're only allowed to take 10 items with them. Yeah. And they last for like 60, 70 days. And the last man standing g- fucking wins a half I a would, million. I would win that show. Are you fucked? I would, Are you, you serious? Got, guy, you'd be trying to chop wood the whole time. Don't fucked up. I, I would, wouldn't win that show. I would Fouad, Fouad, what would you do for shelter, food, and water? Go. Oh, I got 10 items with me. I'd bring like... Yeah, 10 food, items. No, first of all, the items you, they, you, you have to pick from, or they're like... It's not like I can buy, I can bring Rice Krispie treats and a magazine. You can bring it's a car, not. bring a car. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Bring an RV. Bring an RV. No, RV. Yeah. no, no. Oh, if you don't get an RV, I can't win. I thought you could bring like your fucking. A no, they, they give you like a list. Like you can have a knife. You can have a fucking some twine. You can have a, 
a fucking tarp, you, like shit like okay. that. Okay, how long? How long do you think I would last in the wild? Being dead serious, dead serious. I I'm honestly talking. don't. I think you would Two try days. to spend. I think you tried to spend one night. Yeah, and I think you wouldn't be able to make shelter, and you'd call it quits. I agree. <laughs> I think it would be he would get there. He'd try and spend the night. He'd freeze his ass off and wouldn't sleep, and then he'd go home the next day. The worst wait, part wait, about wait, how cold on. is it? How cold huh? is I mean, it? Any, and they, they drop you off. Fucking cold, man. They drop you off in the. So I've watched it. Some guys have made it to like 70, 90 days. So they go through winter. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the worst they, part about everything in my life now is that anytime I watch uh, shows, I always go, I wonder who on the podcast would actually. <laughs> no, you don't. You're just All like, the time, I, I so wonder how bad Fu Ed would lose. That's what you think first. Well, no, that, no that, that, that's always the second thing. Like, <laughs> I wonder how bad Fu Ed would just like get demolished. Um, I would, there's a guy, I don't remember his fucking name now, but it's one of the most interesting things. There's a guy on Joe Rogan's podcast that it was like a year ago now that did one of these things. I don't remember what show it was, but they dropped him off somewhere. And he was like, I spent 120 days or 90 days. Dude, or something cra- like that. That's crazy. bro. It was one of the most interesting podcasts I fucking listened to. He was talking about shooting bears and like melting the fat from the bear and like keeping the fat to cook other yeah. foods. And I'm like, this is the craziest yeah. shit I've ever heard. Like, it, it's it's fascinating to me. I'd love to be able to learn that shit, but I don't have the. Dude, this one this one lady built her fucking house like in the in like they, they call them their houses. She built it like underground and like built rocks and like created like a a chimney so the fire could go out, but the heat would stay. It was like yeah, yeah. like man, like some people fucking build some wild things with nothing, nothing. Those fucking people make me feel totally incompetent. I'm like this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker got dropped off with a knife for fucking four months and he lived he built a home totally for, yeah, he built a house and fed himself yeah. <laughs> and i can't even feed myself and i'm fucking he's farming and built a house yeah. Yeah. these guys yeah. are fishing with like twine that's like on a fucking spool of wood with like their yeah. cat and i'm like two would be fucked i just i just I mean, didn't... Would be like trying to like throw dynamite in the water to blow fish up to like <laughs> um, in my defense in my defense there's not a lot of people that could do that no there's not Whoa. very there's not very many men. If you well, took especially bodybuilding. All right, hold on, hold on. No, okay, no, not you, just bodybuilding. If you took, wait a minute. If you gotta if, put it. Wait, if you took 20 men, 20 average men, just grab 20 men off the street. Maybe one would be able to live. That's what I'm saying. Days. You could probably grab one and be like, okay, that guy could live for four or five days, maybe. There's yeah. not very many people you're going to grab and live for three months in the wild. No, most people, no. most average people, especially in this day and age, don't have the skills to hunt and cook. No. And fish. Fuck no, man. You I can't to build, build a, a shelter and, you know. How, I could probably start a fire if I, like, if there was like my life depended on it, but. He's like, if there was matches. Huh? Yeah. Starting a fire without fire. matches. Is if really there was hard. matches. If there was gasoline and matches, I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, how long do you think you'd actually last? Me? Yeah. Um, what do I have with me? Have you had, let's, I don't know. Uh, let's like, say you get a box of matches, yeah. a knife, a hatchet, a tarp, and like a some string so, and, and some string. rope. Yeah. Do I have to get somewhere? Or they're just like, we're going to leave you here. And, and once they're going to drop call you us. off and be like, you're on your own. Call they're us when you drop you off in the woods up. and you got to figure it out. So they're like, call us when you give up. Yeah. Yeah. They would, Fred would see him leaving in the distance and he'd be like, I call back. Come back. <laughs> I changed like, my mind. Like, like Titanic, come back. Is there is back. there is there bears or wolves in this area? Oh, dude, there's grizzlies. Yeah. Okay, grizzlies. The the helicopter's not gonna leave. I'm just gonna be like, did I tell you guys? Else. Did I tell you guys about the bears in Aspen? Did I tell you about this? No. We were just walking down the street, fucking middle of Main Street, right in Aspen, and I'm like walking down the street. It's nighttime. It's like dark out. Me and Melissa were walking down the street, and I can like you can see up ahead like there's some like rustling in the trees or something. They were just like those kind of like planted trees that are like lined up down the side of like the main highway you know red eyes looking at you no i couldn't i couldn't see anything i could hear rustling and then a car drove by us and then backed up rolls down his window he's like bear <laughs> oh oh because you guys were walking we were walking right on the path oh, right towards fuck. it there was yeah. three fucking bears three black, of them black bears or brown bears what do they have they in were black bears. Yeah, black they bears were black. yeah yeah so there was one on the ground, one kind of like halfway up the tree, and then one up in the tree. Probably a cub, and yeah, it's probably a mom yeah. and two cubs. Yeah. What so we fuck? just cross the street. That's the worst. That's the worst time to be worst around. Scenario, a, yeah. The mother, worst scenario, yeah. Mother, mother with cubs. Yeah. Have you guys Not ever seen? Street, uh, but fuck, man. I you know they were just like, like literally in the middle of like downtown Aspen. You know. Have you guys? I mean, not seen... that downtown Aspen is downtown, but like you know what I mean. Yeah. Have you guys seen Backcountry? No. Oh, maybe I have. Have you seen? Okay. You this? What's 
what's the movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio where he gets killed by a bear? Or not killed, but uh, attacked by a bear. The Revenant. The Revenant. Okay, so remember how gruesome... That's a good that, movie. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, one of my favorites. Remember how gruesome that was in that movie? Disgusting. Yeah. The one in Backcountry's worse. Really? It was in Backcountry. I feel like I've seen it. Nobody, there's nobody good in it. There's nobody... But it's a true story. So there, it was. it's up in... It's filmed in... Uh, the story... The real story happened in Northern Ontario. And the woman got attacked not the man in the real story and the man tried to save the woman and the woman got killed but in backcountry they flipped it the, the man got killed but it's the most gruesome fucking scene that movie with leonardo DiCaprio, oh, yeah. is, that where, is that where it ends like the scene like uh, spoiler alert it ends with him um <sighs> it's like in the winter and yeah. he like kills the guy one-on-one yeah. -on -one. He, yeah. he was like going yeah, after tom his hardy. He, he kills yeah, he tom was, hardy yeah yeah he was like looking for his son or something yeah. right yeah, yeah. I've okay, seen, I've seen, I've seen Backcountry. I just looked it up. I've seen it. Do you remember the Who's fucking in it? Who's bear? In it? There's it's nobody. Missy Peregrine. Yeah, she. I mean, she's kind of famous, but yeah, no, it's not really anyone super famous. Uh, anyway, yes, I couldn't. Seen it. I couldn't be dropped off anywhere with bears. I'm deathly afraid of bears. Really? Oh, dude, they're, they're, they're dropping them off in BC, like Grizzly Country. Yeah, Fuck I mean, that. black bears. Black bears, you'd probably be fine. Grizzly Country yeah. is a whole different story. Yeah, black bears is different, but so they dropped off. I watched the other season the other day. They dropped off ten guys, and they were all like tough guys. The one guy, <laughs> when you said this, I started laughing. The one guy lasted a night, and uh, mother and cubs came near his oh, tent. Fuck that! And he freaked out and literally and ended it right there. He's like, yeah. I didn't, he goes, I knew this was grizzly country, but I didn't know I was going to be fucking face to face with bears. And he fucking tapped out, yeah. not even fucking on the ten hours. Well, okay. I, I would too, man. But come get me, right? Do you remember? Um, <laughs> remember the grizzly man, the guy that used to go sit with bears in fucking uh, Alaska. I think he was a Canadian guy too. You don't remember really that? He never left the couch, did you, as a bodybuilder? Oh, I, watched, I watched so much Sorry. TV guy. I know. Hey, puppy. <laughs> Look at the little guy. He gets mad if he's if I don't hold him. This guy. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Look how cute that dog is. Yeah, it's a puppy. Oh, dude, what the fuck? He's like getting cuter. He's growing fast, though. I know, right? My fucking I, I my dog was a puppy for like two weeks. My I'm taking him home. I'm taking him home with me back to Jersey, though. <laughs> you only have one I've dog, my right? Dog since July. Yeah. yeah, is that driving somebody? Somebody sent what? me a message, and they were like, "Is it? Why is Nick on his third dog?" And I'm like, "I, I, I don't keep track of the kids' dogs." <laughs> yeah, what is that true? Somebody's like, "Why? Why does they keep getting dogs and giving them?" Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I'm like, that I don't everyone, know. So everyone knows. What I had the Frenchie. Yeah, and then I got a pit bull, and then the pit bull tried to eat the Frenchie. In a very mean, aggressive way. So I said, uh, this isn't going to vibe. So I gave the pit bull back to the original owner. And then the Frenchie never listened to a fucking thing I said. So I gave him to a best friend. And then I got him. So you're going to try and train this one properly? Yes. And he's a lot smarter than the Frenchie. That Frenchie was fucking stupid. <laughs> bring, Nick, when you come home to Jersey, you should bring your dog over here. Yeah, we, I can do that. Socialize him. Well, no, because my dogs listen very well, and a lot of times they follow suit. They, you know, follow, they follow, you know, what other dogs do. Um, this is the show I was talking about. This is the dude I was talking about. Everybody keeps talking about Yellowstone and tells me to watch it. Oh, you oh gotta watch God, that, man! man. Amazing. You guys know who this guy is? Go in your cage. What the fuck is his name? Again? Is he petting a fox? Yeah, dude, this guy. So he would go live in BC in the grizzly maze, where like the most grizzly bears are. And he would try and be their friends. And then I guess one season. Did he, um, did he die? Is he still here? One season. Oh, listen, one season. It, it was at the end of the season where everybody's supposed to leave. Because I guess the bears get more aggressive or hungry or whatever, like just before they hibernate. And he's like, I'm not leaving. So he stays. And a bear basically ate him alive. And there's fucking audio because he films everything. And there's audio of him being eaten alive. It's fucking horrifying to listen to. No. Was and, he then, screaming? And, and and it ate his girlfriend too. Yeah, they shot the bear. They shot the bear like a little bit. I guess they came. They found the remains. They found the bear. They shot the bear, and they found his remains inside the bear. Where's the audio? Oh, I'm not gonna pull it up on this fucking. No, how do you pull it up? How do you pull it up? Uh, like, I forgot. I gotta. Remember, I gotta remember the guy's name first. I can't remember the fucking guy's name now. You were, it's gotta go be. To a, type of yeah, it's it's gotta be name. one of these. Yeah, uh, Treadwell. That's it. What's his name? Treadwell. T R E A D W. No, first name. Uh, I think it's fucking. I don't know. Let me see. You can't just type in Treadwell. Just They're going to send me like a tire website. Timothy. Timothy Treadwell. 
So go to type in Timothy Treadwell audio of him being eaten. <laughs> no. I don't want to. It comes right up. Dude, trust me, it's what? fucking brutal. You just hear like the loudest screaming. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to it now. Yeah. <laughs> you, hear I don't his, listen. you hear his wife and you hear his girlfriend in the background going, fight back, Wait. fight back. And he's like, he's just screaming, like he's getting ripped apart. I'm like, this is the most terrifying thing ever. And I'm like, why would you put yourself in that position? Like, he obviously, when I've seen the documentaries about him, they've obviously was like a screw loose that he thought he could be friends with the Bears and all this stuff. But it's it's fucking. Didn't yeah. that the one guy animal, from man. Australia eventually die? What'd you the say? Guy, um, can be friends with a bear. Who's the guy that used to do like? Oh, he's about to strike. Oh, uh, he died too. He got, yeah, he got killed. Got stung by stung by a manta ray. Oh, the, the he got stung guy. in the dick by a bee. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, What's his name? The fucking bodybuilding and bollocks guy. Who fucking, oh, let me see. Uh, Steve, isn't it Steve Irwin or something like that? Steve, Steve Irwin. Irwin. Yeah, but what they, what they call him though? One sec. Crocodile hunter. Yes. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. the crocodile hunter. Yeah. He's about to strike. Yeah, I think he got stung by a manta ray or something like that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He, he has a son. All exactly. these guys that try to get in touch with nature get in touch with caskets. Yeah, I don't want to be insensitive, don't but I'm like, if, if you're going to fucking, nature. if you're going to hang out with grizzly bears, you're probably not going to live very long. See, like the bears don't bother me as much as snakes. Snakes, I, I, I would kill. I would shoot. Why? Them. I can't imagine. Listen, I can't imagine a worse way to die than being eaten by a bear. I that literally. Matter. Maybe, maybe, start. or any, actually any, probably wild dogs would be worse. Guy or bear smart? Yeah, bro. They can fucking, they can open door. They, I've seen them open doors of people's houses. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, man, I can't, I just, That's maybe it's my, maybe it's they my own took, fear. But. They have taken, they have taken my dad when I was growing up. So when that I, makes me nervous. We have, we have a big trailer in our, or my parents do in their um, driveway. So the people drop the deer off for my for my dad and, and us to butcher in the trailer. Back in the day when I was growing up, they used to leave the deer under the deck. We have my parents have a patio in the back and there's a deck over top. People they, we would have bears would come take a deer that's dead that like my dad is fucking getting ready to butcher and drag take the deer and bring the deer up onto the deck and eat the the dead deer on my parents' deck. I don't know, man. I'm here, look. Man scalped by grizzly bear. Can you imagine getting your hair pulled out? He's lucky to be alive. You don't say. <laughs> like, they, 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 some of the headlines are so dumb. Can we see some before and after shots or what? Uh, who can't? <laughs> man, man gets shot by AK. Lucky to be alive. Really? Is that a scalped guy on the second picture? Yeah. John Fitzgerald, is he scalped? Oh, this I remember oh, this guy. This guy man. lived. You know, we're gonna get people to say that they got they've been attacked right after this episode. Oh, dude. No, turn this shit off, man. Yeah, I can't do it, man. I can't. It's like it, it's it almost reminds me. Did you ever hear the the uh story of that lady who like raised a fucking gorilla and it got out and it like ripped the fucking lady's face off and she oh, survived. Oh, wasn't it like an orangutan or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like yeah, ripped yeah. her. Like, she has no face anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because orangutan's supposed to be super fucking strong, too. It's like, I saw yeah. one I saw one kid who tried to raise a fucking hyena in his apartment. Seriously, got it as a puppy. He's trying to break his, he's trying to raise it. His, and then it got big and it started biting everything. And he's like, oh, I got to give it away. I'm like, you think? I'm like, it's like a 600, well, not 600 pound, but it's like a big ass fucking animal that literally has eats the everything most, they the eat everything powerful fucking bite in the fucking wild kingdom and it, oh. fucking, you have it in your fucking apartment could you imagine fucking a hyena in your hey all, all day long i'd fucking shoot it. <laughs> i'm sure it was cute as shit when it was a baby and then yeah. it was just fucking every yeah. but that's the thing everything's cute as a puppy everything yeah yeah everything are cute as babies i think i think the ugliest thing usually human babies are the weirdest looking <laughs> yeah, is there is there what's the weirdest what's the last animal on earth you'd want to be killed by last animal on earth probably yeah. a bear man or attacked by because i think a shark like sharks usually if they attack a human and they realize it's a human they usually don't finish the job no yeah but now you got a chunk missing out of your body and you're like laying in the fucking water for god knows how long yeah, the only thing about the shark that is i i really don't want to drown yeah that's it yeah oh drowning so, is a all really right let me ask you a question what's yeah. what's worse would you rather drown or get eaten by a bear 
No, no. Would you rather? What's worse, drowning, burning, or freezing to death? Burning, burning, burning. Hundred percent. I'm gonna go with freezing. Burning is supposed to be the no, worst. No, freezing. You would go numb, and then you'd just be like, "Okay, I'm yeah, dead." Yeah, no, bur- burning is supposed to be the worst death, to my knowledge. Burning. Really? I can't imagine being yeah. anything more painful than burning to death. Yeah, burning to death. I think is about as bad as it gets. Yeah. Yeah, but I I think once you start burning, don't like your doesn't your nerve endings just like die like pretty fast and like you. That's what I heard. But think about think about it. but think about drowning. It's like there's not pain. You just don't can't breathe anymore. Yeah. Right. And then freezing, you're probably going to go numb before you die. Whereas I don't know. Fire, whereas fire, you're going to feel a fuck ton of pain, and you're going to be like, I'm on fire. <laughs> that what we're going to do? I'm on fire. <laughs> that's the only. That's the only one we're going to be like, oh shit, drowning and freezing. We're not going to be like. Oh shit, I'm drowning. No, oh, it's cold. No, but the fire is going to be like, oh I'm shit, the flame, bro. No, because like, drowning, no, drowning is too fast. So you're not going to be like, oh, I'm drowning. You're just going to be like, I can't fucking breathe. And you're going to die. Just, you're going to panic. Yeah, you're just going to panic and you're going to die. It's going to be faster. Whereas fire, fuck, man. You're like, you're in pain. <laughs> you see it. You see it all like coming off you. You're like, yeah, oh, man. No, I feel like freezing is pretty bad too, though. I think drowning is definitely the easiest one, even though it's the most like scary. It's probably the easiest one. Nick, put your hand in the freezer and your other hand under burning hot water and see which one you get yeah, out on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'm serious. What animal? Because like wild dogs will pull you apart while you're alive. I would say a high wild animal. dogs would is a coyote. So I don't know where this wild dog thing. Comes no, there's in. actually a wild dog. Like it's called like African wild dog. Yeah, but they're they're basically like I hate that. Like no, they're not. It's a different. It's a totally different breed. It's this. Look, I want to go. And with it, the, I'm actually, that he, he knows something about fucking animals. Oh, I, I love. Well, I love this shit. This is like I watch all this shit. Like, so this is this these dogs. It, looks, are, it literally looks like a hyena. No, yeah. it doesn't. That is the ugliest fucking <laughs> dog <laughs> I have ever seen. What's the pro- What's the proper name for this? Those? Is what a fucking hyena looks like, you asshole. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fucking hyena. Are you kidding me? That's like saying a pit bull looks like a poodle. What are you talking Bro, about? It looks like it. That thing looks like a dog. I bet, I bet look how much bigger. Look how much bigger this fucking animal is. It's like go a to Google, look, go, to, yo, go to the go to the web results, not the image results. And what's the proper name for these? They're actually just called wild dogs. I think it's African wild dog. Yeah. Look, African right. African wild dog species. No, I'm good on that. Huh. I'm telling it's you. Do you imagine? And like they're Kevin small. They're they're actually, small. They're not like. The way they kill their prey is they fucking chase you down. They'll chase an animal for miles and miles. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them hunt in herds. No, 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 no. But hyenas hunt in herds, but they won't. They don't have to chase an animal far. They'll just corner it. Yeah. These dogs will chase uh, something a distance, like dozens of miles. Yeah, and tire it out. Once it gets tired, then they'll all attack it and eat it alive. It's the most gruesome thing I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, uh, let me see if I can find it. I wonder what you watch when we're fucking not around. Their own podcast. There it is. Eating prey alive. What? <laughs> Ew, look at the first one. Eat brutal hunt. Eat alive a wild dog. What are they eating? That thing's alive, man. Gazelle or something, yeah. Oh wow. That would be There's you. Stuff. You'd be like, I'm you'd be like just laying there and it's like I'm gonna eat your stomach. I'm going to town. Look at it. He's going to town, boy. Look at that's what they they just fucking get it, and then they all just start pulling up different bits of it. Yeah, before they they they, they you said it runs down. It runs. Not everything. Down. Not not everything. I'm saying, you but would, like I'm saying thing. that would be you. You wouldn't run. No, I would just be like, okay, just get fucking, this, this would be you. Yeah, just kill me. I'm fine. Oh, this look at me. the fucking. Uh, I, was, was there one coming in to help? Yeah. Yeah, and they go through the asshole. It's the easiest way to get in. <laughs> That's what all my girlfriends say. Hell yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right. Uh, I guess we should do some questions. I'm talking, non- talking nonsense for like an hour. Oh, yeah. the, Ar- the Arnolds. <laughs> Wait, before we move on. So you guys aren't doing the Arnolds, but you're going to be, are you going to be at the Arnolds? We mean sure. you already talked about this on the phone. I'm not, I'm yeah. not answering. No, I'm talking to Nick and Ian. Are you going to the Arnolds? I'm not sure yet. Okay, well, you should go because we're going to like get an Airbnb okay. for like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and just hang out, do a podcast, live podcast. Okay. Because yeah, Ben's going to sleep on bunk beds. Because I got to be there. Ben's going to be there. Guy's going to be there. I don't know if James is going to go, but I'm assuming you will. 
with Redcon. He's he li- does he live in the U.S. officially yet? No, Not apparently. Officially. Okay, yeah. Last time I talked to him, he was going back to England or to the U.K. to grab some stuff and then come back, and then he said he was good. Oh, and- finalize it. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, he got his visa and he's good to stay. Well, that's good. Good for him. How much did he's- it cost? How much did it cost you in in U.S. dollars to fill up your TRX the other day? In U.S. dollars. Yeah. Well, price gas prices went down now, but the time I filmed it, it was 168 Canadian. So it was probably like, I don't know, 125 or something. I just filled up my fucking Rebel the other day, or it didn't a hundred bucks, and the fucking the thing stopped. So I didn't even fill it up at a hundred. Yeah. Well, prices went down a bit now, so that might be accurate for here too. What's yeah. what's gas right now there in, in Hamilton or in uh, Windsor? Uh, uh, I just filled up my Cadillac for 105. It's 105. No, what's yeah. the price per liter? One fuck. What was it? 130 something i think it was regular was 130 yeah it's like 345 to like three like 57 59 See, our right? gas is more expensive because 130 a liter times four yeah, yeah. gas here in canada is much more expensive yeah, yeah. so That's ours great. would be like ours would be like five five ten no five twenty a liter or five twenty a gallon yeah i was talking to jay earlier and he was asking me how i like how i like the rebel and then he heard about, uh, he said Poston got like his second TRX because he flipped dude, the first one. Get the well, TRX. Yeah. Huh? Dude, I stopped driving my Cadillac. It's the fucking aw- most awesome car I've ever owned. It's li- wait, I just, listen. In why, the rain- why do you like it so much more than, because you had a Hellcat already. Wait a second. So I had the Trackhawk. Yeah. But the th- reason I didn't like the Trackhawk is because it feels like you're just driving a Jeep. Like the SRT. It's a fucking Jeep. No, I love the way it looks, but the SRT looks exactly the same. So I'm like, yeah. I'm paying fifty thousand dollars more, whatever the fuck it is, and my fucking trackhawk looks the same as the SRT. It's of like course, okay. besides a little, besides emblem. the engine, right? And I'm and like, that, and that little cat and the emblem. And the right. emblem. There's a couple small, small differences, but nobody yeah. can tell unless you like really know. And I'm like, I want something different, so I bought the truck because it's it's not it's fucking wide, it's big, it's fucking, and it's hard to explain if you haven't driven it. I can literally roll over anything. So I've had big trucks. Like the, I had the F-250 with 24-inch wheels or 38-inch tires. And everything I rolled over just felt like I was going over like a massive bump. Boom, boom. This, this fucking thing, Eat I, just, it. I take it off-road. I take it over curbs. I take it over. And I'm like, it's, you're just cruising. You're like, and then the other day in the rain, I put the launch on. And I did 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. In a fucking 6,000, in the rain, in a 6,000-pound truck. In a truck. Like if I was on dry pavement, it would have been 3.8 all day long, 3.7 for sure. I'm like, it's it's fast, it's roomy, it's fast, it's roomy, it's functional, it's really fun. Yeah, I don't drive. know how much bigger it is than my than than the actual rebel because I have eight, like the, eight, it's eight inches wider. It's eight inches big. wider. It is okay. It's eight inches wider, so I think four on either side. It has the rear arches over the wheel wells, so it looks thicker in the back too. Yeah, and then it uh, it's also raised like two or three inches. It is. It is higher. Yeah. So you feel because like the, the, because you can't really put a lift on it because got the, does the TRX have the automatic high, uh, hydraulics on it? You can put a lift on it. They some people are doing like two inch spacers, so you can see. Do they like told an, me when I got my Rebel, they told me not to because they said when it has the automatic hydraulic, they said it fucks it up a lot. So don't. It's not because do it's it. an air suspension, but you can still do it. Guys do it all the time. Yeah. So that so that a lot of guys with the TRXs are doing like these two inch spacers. So you could, it comes two inches lifted, you put another two inches on it, and then you can put thirty seven inch tires on it. But I'm like, I'm not doing all that. I'm they gonna... offered me 40 grand for my truck to trade in for a TRX. What year is it? 17. How many kilometers? We go wow. miles here, but I've oh, how 60, many miles? 68. Dump it. Say so here, here's my give me how much you owe on this it? is the only thing. I this is the only thing is that I had a seven, I had a 16 and I went to court because it was a lemon and I got a 17 and I have a fucking uh lifetime warranty oh, okay. on the engine and that's all the shit. Different. So that's that's the, my that that's the only thing that's like I'm like man do I really want to fuck this because- is gonna wait this is gonna sound really stupid but this is what I'd say if you had a daily car like my Cadillac is my daily I have my, my the only other car I have is my Beamer I know but it's not really well it's kind of a daily but not really because you can't drive it it's in the a winter daily not in the winter that's what I mean so it's not really a daily I'm talking about like an all year car that all you don't care how many miles you put on yeah I would I would have a daily in a TRX because the TRX you're not gonna want to drive every day because gas is a fucking bitch. I know. Like, it's just... Well, what do you get per... I get... I, I drove all the way to fucking Maryland and back and then Massachusetts and back. I was at 14.4 a gallon. So, I the best I did. I'm, I'm doing eight miles per gallon. Yeah. I, so, I figured eight to 10. 10. 10 if I don't drive fast. 
Yeah. And if I'm on the highway 12. I'm right. just debating getting, I'm like, I've been very like, do I want it? Do I want to, do I want to pull the trigger? Do I want to wait and just get a newer one? And, or I'm like, if they come out, the only other issue that I had was that my buddy that had the Durango, every time he brought it to a Dodge dealership, not a lot of Dodge dealerships knew how to work on it because they don't get a lot of them in to work on. Yeah. So every time there was an issue, he, he would be down without his truck for fucking like weeks. Yeah. I don't, I that bothers me. I haven't had to take mine in at all. So I don't know. But you uh, do like the TRX. Honest to God, man, like I haven't driven my other car since I got it. Huh? Like I just, it's, it's like, it's something you can't even describe. Just driving it is like, is it just, black, black with gray? Yeah. Black with the, with the black plastic. I'm going to call the lady back today now. I think I'm going to have that. I think I'm going to have those wrapped though. I think I want to do like a full gloss black all yeah. the way around. Yeah. 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 Oh. But, uh, it's something about driving it. Cause it's got like a little bit stiffer steering and the steering wheel's thick and you feel like you're just driving a fucking I need to get new, like when I go back to Canada in January, I got to get a new truck because I, I sold my Tacoma since I've been down here. Oh, dude, you'll love it. I'm telling you. And the you interior, the, the interior is really nice. Plus, the, the Raptor is going to be out soon, too. You get the Raptor R or the regular really Raptor. Raptors, but I like the Raptor. I just, I, I like the it. Raptor, the older ones. I like the new yeah, one. The I, second gens are sick. I like all three but I just can't get over the zero to 60 in fucking under you start four seconds. looking too much. Just like a regular Ram to me though. You know, you mean the Raptor Raptor, the newer Raptors. Yeah. Yeah. You mean, it looks like the, the regular, like four, but now when you put them side by side, cause when you put them side by side and you see like the width and the, the height, Yeah, but I'm saying and, like the first and second gens looked considerably different. They have more. Yeah. They had a little bit yeah. more to them. Yeah. They look a little more sporty, you know, like yeah. off road. I don't know. I like the way they, I mean, I think Chris said he wanted to get a regular Raptor, the, the V6. He was going to, he has a, a, a big Ram of some kind now, but what's he got like a 2,500 or something. Do you know? Mm, I don't know exactly what it is. It's, it's nice though. I mean, it's like a hundred thousand, eighty thousand dollar truck. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably like a big or probably a Ram limited. That's like 80,000. Yeah. It's like a limited or one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's do some questions before people get mad that we're not doing anything, but talking about nonsense. <laughs> they like they, it. Do they care? I don't think no, they, they love like that shit, man. I wonder if they like the nonsense more than the questions. They do. I think so? Yes. They just like anything that's funny or real, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the hardest prep you've had, how you felt, sleep, energy, go into detail if you can. What's the oh, hardest? Yeah. Who, who wrote this question again? Nate Spear. Nate Spear. Yeah, I saw this one. Yeah. What's the hardest prep you had, Nick, ever? My right, very first one. Like first one ever? Yeah. Yep, same. Because I didn't know what I was walking into, so it was pretty bad. Hmm. My first one or Ottawa's 2013 were my two hardest. Guy? My first show ever, 2003, and then my uh, first show at Palumbo, 2007, for national. Did he just crush you <laughs> or what? He was like, all right. You know. I, I did... 75 i did keto 75 minutes of cardio twice a day plus working out for Ooh, six, uh, for 16 weeks i think 2004 2003 canadian nationals i worked with laura benetti we did 22 week prep and i saw your turn pro 2006 because i won my class 2004, 2005, but they didn't give me pro card. So you, tur you turned pro in 06. I turned pro in 08. Ian, you turned pro? 14. Nick? 20. 20. 20. 20. Uh, <laughs> <that's too> <laughs> 20. Um, yeah, no, 22-week prep. It was fucking brutal. I was, like, fucking hallucinating by the end of it. I'm like, I just want to eat. I don't care. This is fucking not worth it. Yeah. And I think at the end, I actually started cheating a little bit because I was so fucked up. But uh, I still came uh, in shape. I so I ate so much shit last night. It wasn't even funny. Would you eat? Everything. Dude, for, for, remember, what, did you see that I tagged you in McDonald's on Tuesday night? Yeah. Would you eat? So, okay, ready for this? Wednesday night, driving ready. back from Boston. <laughs> ready. I'm ready. You know, ready. you know, people in my life now do this to me when I say it, and it pisses me off now because it, <laughs> I'm like. It reminds I, you of me. <laughs> yes. Bethany does it the worst. And she drives. I'm Because well, we talk all the time. I'm like. Well, we talking about, hey, ready for this? She's like, I'm ready, go. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I get so aggravated. Um, I got Burger King the next night because I was driving home and there was nothing open. 
So you got McDonald's, the, and then you got McBurger. On Tuesday night, time. and I got McDonald's. What Burger do you like better? And then fucking McDonald's. Welcome to retirement. I'm going to tell you this. The burger from Burger King, I got a, I got a, what, Whopper. what's a, a, a Whopper. What's, a Whopper. What's, the, what's the double one at, oh, uh, the double McDonald's. Whopper. Oh, Big okay, Mac. Okay, what's, 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 no, no, I didn't get a Big Mac. I got a double Whopper. What's the one at Burger King? Double That's quarter a, dub, a double okay. Whopper. Is that, so I got is a double Burger Whopper and, a, and, and, and chicken nuggets and I, from McDonald's and a fry. And I got a, a double whatever from Burger King and a fry. No, Burger you King. fucked it up. Listen, I have to correct this. This is bothering me. A Whopper is Burger King. Yes. Okay, so I got a, I got a Whopper and then a... A Big Mac from McDonald's. No, I didn't get a Big Mac. A double, double quarter, quarter pounder. pounder. I had a double quarter pounder. Okay. <laughs> okay. So and a, a fry <laughs> and nuggets, and I got a double. I got a double Whopper and fries and chicken nuggets from McDonald uh, from Burger King. Okay. The burger from Burger King and the chicken nuggets are better. The fry McDonald's fries blows Burger King fries away. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the only thing that. that I noticed. I'm gonna say that McDonald's is better all around, only because of the consistency of the. I flavor. don't know. My burger that I got from Burger King was like thicker patties, like re- like the vegetables seem fresh. Like the the bun and then a McDonald's was like they threw it in the microwave. And like, if you yeah. eat if you eat a Whopper once every two months and eat McDonald's in between, you'll love the Whopper. But if you eat a Whopper every weekend and then have McDonald's once, the Whopper you'll start getting sick of the Whopper after. By like the way, third. that's the fattest thing you've ever said. Why once a week? I said I said once a week. Yes, and then eat McDonald's all in between. No, not in between the week, you idiot. <laughs> I meant like that's how that's how I took it. <laughs> yeah, I meant like how three, else do you take that? I meant like three weekends in a row. Every Saturday, you eat Burger King. Oh, okay. and on the fourth Saturday, you eat McDonald's. Right? I literally meant like I don't Saturday think can... Whopper no. and then McDonald's, 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 Burger King. I don't think you can eat. That's how I took what it. What I'm saying is like a Whopper on a consistent basis starts to taste gross, whereas a Big Mac always tastes good. Ian, what yeah. are you doing? You texting somebody? Yeah, sorry, I got two clients competing more. They're just setting up these. Tell them you're Tell on a podcast. Tell the that guy said, good luck and stop fucking texting you for another yeah. hour. I have a guy just trying to make way and he's using laxatives and all that fun stuff right now. So. Is he really? Yeah, he's like just on the cusp. Is he doing like a suppository? Like you no, you tell him to do it. Tell him to smoke. Every time I smoke weed, I piss my brains out. <laughs> Does that actually work? It, yeah, I piss, I piss like a racehorse. Really? Oh, weed makes me piss like a motherfucker, dude. Oh, do you I ever know. smoke before shows to dehydrate? <laughs> I can forget it. <laughs> I was, I smoked so much weed the Friday of the Olympia that Julian, like my buddy, had to tell me that I had to lay off the weed for the Saturday because oh, I was I like out of it. Yeah, I remember yeah. you saying that. I, 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 for the first time, the last two shows, I used it to help me calm my nerves before getting on stage. That's why. Well, because the Friday, I was just like stressed. Like obviously, there was a bunch of stuff going on. Then Chris was competing, and like I was competing. I just wanted to be like absent, you know. Like I didn't want to like think about anything. So I just like smoked myself into oblivion, which was like kind of a mistake. But I mean, whatever. Yeah. Uh, if you fuck up and have a cheat day instead of a cheat meal, do you get back on your regular diet the next day or under eat carbs and fats for damage control? A lot of times, if I eat like a lot of shit for a day i lower the food. i don't want to eat anything the next day <laughs> like today i haven't ate all day my stomach's shot from last night yeah i'll tell you the truth i go back to my regular diet because if i don't <laughs> i'll fucking this is what happens to most people and i don't think this is you guys aren't most people but i think most people cheat and then they under eat the next day and then they get fucking really hungry and then they and cheat again can. Yeah. yeah. So it's better to just go from go right back onto normal yeah just go right back, back to a normal diet so you're not fucking hungry that way you can stay consistent with it yeah um, who can eat the most Five Guys burgers? Apparently, James said he, James said he's a big eater. Really? Yeah, I've never seen a human eat more in my life than you. Every fucking two hours, gonna, gonna if you were hungry, you had, if you were hungry, hungry, do you think you could eat four Five Guys doubles? Yeah, you think oh, so? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I couldn't. Well, I'd, no. dude, Ian, you'd, if we would eat at IHOP and walk back to the fucking hotel, and he'd be like. I'm hungry. Man. Okay, see, but that's different because what? I'm I'm very good at I can eat and then be hungry again in like 20 minutes, but in one sitting, I couldn't eat four or five guys burgers. But I, I could eat one and then 20 minutes later eat one and then 20 minutes later eat one, <laughs> like, you know. I think if it was a bet, the most I could do is six. With doubles, doubles with cheese. If it was like a bet. Yeah. That's a lot of food, man. Fuck. We should do it. <laughs> I think I could maybe eat 3. 
We should we do should, it the Arnold. Want to do it? Want to do a burger eating contest? No, we should do it on like, next. We should do it on next week's podcast. Nobody's dieting. We, we what, let's yeah. let's no. Why don't we do like White Castle burgers? Because you can order like I don't have White food. Castle here. Really? Yeah. We can White do McDonald's. Castle is gross. I know. Who we the can fuck just do White Castle. Castle? We can just do McDonald's. Oh, okay. okay. Well, White Castle's yeah. gross, and and you're talking about the fucking Section Eight McDonald's. <laughs> White Castle's like the fucking wish of fast food, man. It's fucking horrible. Hundred percent. It's dog shit. Okay, double cheeseburgers. I could probably do 10. No way. Double 10. cheeseburgers? Yeah. And how long? Wait, and how long? So next podcast. Next we'll, podcast. Before the podcast, we'll all go to McDonald's. Yes. No, we should all go to McDonald's on the can we do no, on, the, we can, on our phones? We, we, no, yeah, there's too bad we can't all we should all film us order you and then send it to, to your guy. Um okay, we'll film that and send it to Brandon. Yes. And then well, he can do that separate, and then we'll do the actual eating on the podcast. Yeah, but so how many burgers do we have to order? However many you think you can eat. Yeah, Wait, how, many, how many? How many? How many double quarter uh, quarter pounders? Double cheese. No, double cheese. Yeah, whatever. Double I don't cheeseburgers. Know. Should we how get everybody? Should we get everybody else in on this? We can do like an eight man podcast just for the oh. eating portion. I'm is anybody? Is anybody? Is, is, is James Ben Roman James, Ben Roman or Brett dieting? Brett's dieting. So Brett won't, I, oh, he is. Brett won't be in, but Brett's Paul, we, we can right? get Paul, we can get Paul in. I think Brett would actually be the, like close to beating everybody. Cause he can eat. Brett I think can James eat. and Fuad are a leg up. I think James is a secret fucking. I think, a hun- I think a hungry. Fuad, Fuad, it, Fuad is secretly a 600 pound fat slob <laughs> inside. So that's what's scary. Like. If Fuad didn't bodybuild, he we, he would be on like my six hundred pound life. You know that's what oh, I'm worried. That's what I'm worried. That's what I'm worried about with my retirement more than anything. I'm like, how fat am I gonna get? <laughs> I, I told the Fuad, I'm like, I go, so what are you doing? I was like, oh, I love it. He's like, I eat twice a day, train when I want to, don't train when I don't want to. I was like, you're fucking going on a rabbit hole. You need to you need right. to take up some kind of like activity that's like cardio based, like cycling or like BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's both get into BJJ and then after you're going to get hurt doing that, man. There's no way you're going to get so hurt. Yeah, but now if I get hurt, it doesn't matter because I don't got to show it on stage anymore. Yeah, but then you're just going to be hurt. You're going to be out of training and then you'll get fat. Yeah, that's true. And you'll get addicted to opioids. So don't do that. (laughs) Such a downhill spiral. That's a fucking rabbit hole in a hat. (laughs) My life just ended. (laughs) (laughs) The injury that ended it all. (laughs) Let's both both take up BJJ and then after a year, we'll we'll fucking film a fight. fight? I'll wrap you up like a pretzel. I'll fucking I'll fold, fold you like fold a you, fucking, I'll, fold you I'll fold you like a cheap. I'll fold you like a cheap tent. <laughs> if you were locked in the house for a week with one other person from the podcast, who would it be? For a full week with someone from the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> me, and guys, me and guy. <laughs> we would kill each other by the end of the week. <laughs> no, as long as you cleaned up after yourself, I wouldn't care. I'm probably the cleanest guy on the podcast. I don't, after- I don't think you're cleaner than me. I think so. But you, you think, think you're so? the cleanest on the bottom? There, I you're... do. I do eat out of the same plate all day long, though. That's a bad thing I do. No, that's good. That means I don't have to play. Stan, every time Stan <laughs> ate at my house, he used a new plate and a new fork. By the end of the day, I had no forks left. The cleanest people will Sergio definitely. Sergio and Chris were like, you have no forks? I'm like, Stan had 17 forks today. What did you say, Ian? The cleanest people what? Will definitely be people that are married. Like, it's going to be yeah. you, me, Ben, or James. Like, anyone yeah. with like with a, a but i think detail. the single but but wait a minute the single guy's got to keep up with his own shit so he's probably clean too mm, not nick not a, nick's probably the dirtiest i'm not dirty <laughs> but he's not i clean. just don't i just don't like the full clothes and shit yeah so my nick, house my house if you talk to a cedo sergio your house is clean eh? man uh, my my house they, they would say my house is immaculate I can um, tell. Yeah, I, I can tell. Besides the spit cup in guy's house, it's probably a clean house. Yeah, I can see that. My bed. Oh, yeah. Take your bed every morning. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Make my house is the same. Morning. Like it's no I don't, make, I don't, I don't make. I don't make made. my bed. I don't make my bed every morning. My bed I is perfect. Bed I make fucking, my bed perfectly every morning. What are you, yeah. the fucking military? Who fucking makes their bed? That's how I was raised. Make you wake up in the morning. First thing I do is make my bed. God, Nick, is he crazy or is it me? No, I was taught that too. I just never did it. Me too. Yeah. You don't make your bed in the morning. Who makes Melissa your bed? makes it right away. Why am I going to make so it? I, just, I feel like that's like the first thing like adults do in the morning is make their bed. Adults. Nah, I take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do that too. Get up. Look. So what do you do? You get, get up, up to make your right bed and then. To the toilet. Wait, do you get up? I don't want to get into shit again on this podcast. I just want to know. 
<laughs> yeah. Even with the pillows and everything. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, but Melissa did that. That's different. Yeah. That doesn't count. He did it by himself. Look how proud of he is, too, of his, like, his pillow stack. His pillow stack. So... Got my, got my pig. Do you go to the bathroom first, or do you make your bed first? Look at his CPAP. I, mean, I literally probably shit three times before I fucking... I have, the same, I have the same bed as you. Me? Yeah. That, he- that headboard. I have the exact same one. That's, do we just become best friends? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I, I don't know if mine. I don't. Yeah, does mine have? Yeah, the, was your TV in the most awkward place of all time, or what? Why is your, why is your, <laughs> why is your TV in a fucking corner, bro? bro because it moves. I can sit. Look, why is I have look. <laughs> that's hilarious. So you don't so move that. that. <laughs> no, you got to center the fine. TV. My I do. Perfect. I do. I do see his point though, because if you're laying on your side, you can still watch it. Yeah. If it's right in front of you, no, you, gotta, you gotta center the TV, man. Bro, yeah, I'm, I'm my, my ask me how many times I've actually turned that TV on. Yeah, I don't One. watch a lot of t- I don't probably watch a lot of TV. Th- probably three. Yeah. I watch I watch a lot of TV in bed when I was sick. But when I, I have three normal. TVs in my house and I watch one of them. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I only, yeah, only I exclusively yeah. watch TV on my phone. Really? really? I'll lay in front of like my 80 inch TV and watch it on my phone. <laughs> Why? I never ever like I have a 70 inch TV. I, I'm like always TV. I have a 75. <laughs> because I like I like being able to always control the angle that I'm laying and keep the TV in the same spa- spot in front of me. So like see, I move my side, I can just, you know. See, I this move explains like, why you I, jerk off holding your phone. Yes. No, I jerk off holding my phone too. What are you ta- you're so the weird. retard who props their phone us. I don't want to get into this again. It's you're the weird one. Yeah, you're the weird one for sure. We all hold our phone. <laughs> You're the only one out of all eight guys on the podcast, or ten, or whoever the fuck it is, that holds their phone. Or, you that say props that, their and phone I got up. so many messages about people fucking thumbs up in the Bull fucking shit. Those are fans. just those are just your fans. They're like, oh, we we're with you, guy. They're, they're holding their phone too. Yeah, <laughs> no way. Um, okay, I forgot how we even got on that. Your fucking TV was in the wrong spot. <laughs> uh, what's each of your guys' most memorable relationships before your current? We're not getting into that. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, fine. What's the most? Good? Well, that, is that going to piss off? Is that going to piss off your wife? Can we do this? Ah, it's just not going to be good. It's not like a. What, say it again. Well, what is it? What's the most memorable relationship you had before your wife? Well, that I, I'm out of this question. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had a wife. Well, you could say before that one. Yeah. Other than your wife, who was your most memorable relationship? I'm not answering this, by the way. Well, you don't have to think. Just the second you think of not your wife, what girl comes to your head? You're planning it too much. Give us the answer. Are you That's asking it. me or Pooh? I don't know who you're asking. You. 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 Me. Guy. Yeah. Oh, Other than your wife, wife, first girl I'm... that comes to your head. Other than your wife, first girl that comes to your head. You're not going to get in trouble. You can say anything. Go ahead. Um, Wait, what's, what was the question? Who's the most memorable relationship you had, relationship you had other than your wife? So you're Before not married. Before or after? Before or after? I'm not answering. Either. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Nick's not, not answering. answering. Why? Who, do you gonna, who are you going to piss off? My... Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> most memorable yeah. like i'm out of that one memorable could be like best sex best relationship best could be a whole bunch of different bests well it could be worst yeah it could be most memorable could be most memorable that was horrible yeah yeah the one comes to mind well who is it <laughs> are you allowed to say this name on the podcast oh no well only you know the answer are you allowed to say it <laughs> Do we all know? You're going to yeah. get in trouble. Okay. Yeah. We all know? I know who it yeah. is. I know exactly who it is. Bikini? Who? You don't have to text me. T- text me and tell... You text me and I'll tell you if you're right. Right now. Is it bikini? Bikini? Here, I'm going yeah. to text, text the group. Yeah, text the group, man. He is, your fucking psychopath. Okay. The degenerates. Yeah, that's who I was saying. Yeah. I didn't get it yet. What I got it. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what Always. I was thinking too. Yeah. Hey. Now everybody else in the group is going to be like, "What the fuck is that about?" <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like because she's like married with a kid, I can't really say it. So. That's fine. It's fine. Um. Wait, okay, why am no. I the only one that gets to answer this, and you all are fucking? That's good. We can move on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 You don't throw me to the fucking wolves and fucking just get. The okay. Walk so away. what was the? What would and you fucking rather? fucking stone cold fucking ice queen. Nick I've only ever really had one other like serious relationship other than my wife, other than Melissa. Yeah, but it could be most memorable like short term, like you were just banging. 
Uh, no, I mean, it's really only the one, the other one that comes to mind. Yeah. Is that the period girl? No, I, that was just a one night <laughs> thing. But that's a, that's a memorable that's a, experience that's for sure. her name, the period girl. <laughs> Poor girl. Poor girl. Poor girl. Poor girl's forever known as the period girl now. I just, <laughs> what do you want to call it, the red chick? Yeah. <laughs> the red big, chick. big red? Like, what do you big want to call it? Uh, big red? Wait, so Fuad and Nick are both not answering this. And it's about <laughs> well, exes. My wife is my most memorable relationship. Oh, She's still around. Well, oh, he said other than my spouse. That's right. Ah, right, I'm going to skip this one. Mm-hmm. You fucking shady fucking bastard. What Holy. age did you lose your virginity? Uh, I, was, uh, I was late, man. I, I was late. I was 17. 17. 14 yeah, years old. 14. I was 14, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I fooled around at 14. Or maybe a little yeah, bit earlier. Yeah, I was earlier. 14. How did yeah, you lose it to me, the girl, the girl that I'm talking to, the other girlfriend. The, the period girl? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes no <laughs> i wish but no <laughs> but i mean you want to hear my story of losing my virginity it's almost better than that story oh wait no i didn't lose my virginity to the, that girl sorry it's a different one it's okay. a better story i got a good one okay tell us okay so <laughs> i almost want to show you the guys this girl it's like a thinking. roman story right now why no, is, she, so that good, is girl... she that good looking what why is she that good looking why do we have to see her <sighs> <laughs> somebody we know <laughs> no it's just if i showed you it you'd be you'd think it's funny okay so i yeah i guess i was it was between grade like 9 10 summer i guess so yeah but in 14 right yeah yeah um and I, this is when i ran track really competitively and we were at a track meet um legion nationals that was in timmins ontario okay so we're like up in the fucking boonies yeah. you know yeah and when we so it was like you we all took a tour bus there <laughs> and we stayed in a like a motel basically like literally a motel yeah. and there would be two double beds in each room and there'd be four guys in a room so like and no i didn't fuck a guy so just <laughs> let me get the story. liar liar <laughs> so wait so i'm in bed with another guy and then there's t- two other guys in the other bed this girl <laughs> so this girl i ran track with that kind of a lot of dudes bro a little a lot of of she snuck in at night and came in there the first night and sucked my dick in the bed with the other guy. The guy there too? And, oh, yeah, in a double bed. Is, this is the big bed. So they there. Party pig. That was the first night. And then the second night, we had all come back from the track meet and everyone was going out for dinner. And the place where they were going for dinner was like walking. So we just stayed late and we fucked in the bathroom of the motel. So a motel bathroom, I lost my virginity. Oh. Sitting on the toilet. So I like sat on the toilet and she like sat on me. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. Huh. How was that 30 seconds? How long, yeah, how yeah, how long was it? How long was yeah, it? Yeah, like maybe like maybe a minute and a half. That's good for a first time. And then and then on the way back, wait, it gets better here. So wait, we did it in the bathroom. And then and I'm pretty sure the first night too, the guy was like awake but like pretending to be asleep, you know. <laughs> he jerked off to it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we did it in the bathroom, and then people like what we locked the door, and one of the roommates I had was trying to get in the, so he was banging on the door the whole time, like, hey, let me, you know. Did he know you were fucking? Uh well, we came out together, so I think he figured yeah. it out. Yeah. And then on the way back, even more obvious, then we were on the tour bus on the way home, and mm. we were sitting in the very back, and she like sat on my lap oh. and we fucked in the back of the bus. That's all awesome. that is. Yeah. I wonder if the people sitting like just in front of you could smell like the sex. Oh, probably. We've been running track all day. No one showered. Oh, <laughs> oh she had the moist badge. She was Good soggy. She was soggy and Ian yeah, was fucking soggy. Ian Here, was... I'm gonna send a picture of her to the group so you guys. She had a fucking that snail trail. Backboard. Snail trail in her pants. <laughs> That's so fucking gross. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, it's so disgusting. Sweaty sex is awesome. <laughs> If you're fucking in the back of the bus, do you did you cream pie or did you, what did you do? Did she get off and yeah? Did you come in her? Like where did you? <laughs> I can't remember to be honest. <laughs> cream cream pies. Did, did you want? I'm just trying to moment? think. Like where do you where do you come at that point? <laughs> I can't remember, but I do remember because like you know the back seat is kind of back one, and then the bathroom, yeah. and then yeah. all the other rows are in front. So we were yeah. in the back back, and I remember there was this kid that was a long distance runner. I remember his name too. His name was Ian Donald. He was like a really good long distance runner, and he was sitting in the seat across from us and up one, and like the whole time he kept just like 
<laughs> you know, like looking back, like over his shoulder, like that's what the awesome. fuck is going on? That's the closest awesome. I've ever came to that was fucking on an airplane in the bathroom. I've never done a fucking tour bus with people watching. You just still didn't answer the question. Where did you come? I don't remember. In oh. in your track shoes. Yeah, no. she she got off. He came in his own underwear and just sat there in it. <laughs> maybe, oh, I, oh. <laughs> maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Yeah. That's fun. That's fucked up. Wow. Good for you. Yeah, I was I was I was right before college. Was it a girlfriend or just a fucking finally got it done? No, it was a girlfriend. Mine was summer of eighth grade. Was it a girlfriend or just finally like got it in? Oh, it was my friend's sister. Did she eat your butt the first time? Is that why uh, you like it? Is that why your butt? No, that was my butt the first time. Is that why you like that shit? That was no, no. My stripper ex girlfriend ate my butt. She turned me out to that shit. So how old were you? I just, I just sent, I just sent a picture. I just sent a picture to the group chat. How do you still have a picture of this girl? I went on Facebook. Why, why is Ben going? Oh my are god! Are you serious? Oh my yeah. holy shit! God, you fucking dirty. That's savage. why you didn't want to say anything. Ah, oh, you fucking <laughs> you jungle book yeah. master motherfucker. <laughs> Ian. Yeah. Ian. Yeah. Ian's fucking dirty as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Like, like James is typing. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, that was your first. Yeah. Wow. She's got a couple kids. She's got a couple kids that's, now. So you went, you went, all, you went polar opposite end of the spectrum for your first, huh? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't my, see that. My, my second one wasn't white either. How did that happen? She that was your friend's friend, your friend's sister. No, that's Nick. I'm oh. sorry. No, you banged your friend's sister, not not Ian. Yeah, that girl, I ran. I ran track with that girl. The closest I'd came to that. That was like the of... worst sex too. It wasn't good. Really? You know, you didn't know what you were doing. Exactly. Well, I knew it should have felt better than this. I, I couldn't come. My dick was hard inside of her. It just wasn't. It wasn't happening. Oh, you didn't amazing. come. I did eventually. I had to close my eyes and think of a porno. You just had to like do the. The clothes yeah. eyes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He was like riding my dick for as long as possible, and she like whispered. She's like, "You can come now." And I'm like, "I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't feel that." Did you have? Sensation. Did you have on? Did you? Wait, did you wear wait, a condom? Wait, wait. I have to know these. Wait. Just wait. How old was she? <laughs> she was 17. And you were 14. Yeah. And she obviously had been with guys before. Yeah. So how that came about. Was she had a boyfriend who cheated on her. So she's like messaging me. She's like, we should hang oh. out. And I'm like, okay. You were the revenge fuck. And then the friend was cool with it. He was like, yeah, bro, you can date my sister. I'm like, I don't want to date your sister. But... So wait a minute. And you then, guys bang. How long were you banging? What do you mean? Like, how long did you bang? Frame, yes. No, no. Like, how long were you banging? Like, when she started banging you, how long were you banging? You couldn't come. It was a while, bro. Like 20 minutes? Yeah, at least. What the fuck? Your first time? Like I, I literally had to close my eyes. And I'm just thinking of my favorite. Part. Have you guys got that? You know, when you're like, you're like, especially when you were younger and you do this and you were like having sex, you're about to come. So you'd like kind of think about the most random shit. Like your Wait, and then you lose the sensation and then you could pound for like two hours. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like a little bit. It's like a little bit comes out and then you're like good for another hour. Yeah, yeah, and then you're like sweating, <laughs> sweating profusely, trying to get it back. You know, like fuck, I lost it. You, know? you yeah. do like the hold on, don't move, just don't move, don't move, don't move. No, but then when you do, but then when you do get don't it back, move. it's not as good as the first time. No, it's not. No, it's like it's, it's like forty percent. So forty for forty percent. Yeah, you're like you're 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 like fifty seven percent hard. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, at, when I lived, I lived, I lived with my cousin. By and, the way, uh, by the way, the don't move thing never works for me. It does, but the, you can't. You, you literally can't, and you can't. No, move. Like, like if there, breathe. like if there's breathing, I'm fucking done. That's yeah. It. You guys, I just said that. You can't breathe. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. You are like don't move. Wait, wait, just don't even let you don't breathe in or out. <laughs> don't fucking. I can't feel another ounce of sensation. But uh, I was living with my cousin, and we lived on top. We rented out my grandparents owned the two family house. I forget what girl it was that came over, but I didn't have condoms. This was years ago. So I, my cousin Dave, I'm like, bro, do you have any fucking rubbers? He's like, yeah. So he, he gave me one and I forget who it was, but I hooked up with this chick and then I go to the bathroom and I'm trying to pee and I can't feel my fucking dick. What? And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, I can't. Well, you've had those like numbing condom things. So, oh. and I'm like, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, I can't feel my fucking dick. I'm taking a piss. And I'm like, I can't feel anything. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, do I have something? Like, what is this? And then I fucking go in, in my bedroom 
and I look at the wrapper, and it was one of those oh fucking my, my cousin God. gave me one of those numbing, bro. Those are wild. I've never even fucking seen that. Dude, try to pee when you can't feel your your cock. It's the weirdest thing. So, in the world. Uh, what's the whole point? Numbs your dick. So you it's, fuck, it, fuck well, I didn't know that, but you're, it's supposed to. It's for I guess my I don't know. It's for guys who like need to fucking laugh doing it. in bed. So did it, actually, it numbs shit. your dick so you can't feel it so you can pound away for. I know, but did it actually help you last longer? I don't remember because I got ner- the only thing I remember is finishing and going to the bathroom and almost having a panic attack. <laughs> Could you imagine not knowing why your dick yeah, is numb? I can't feel my dick. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would fucking fuck me. So, Nick, you have, none, you have none of these issues. You fuck forever. Well, I mean, I, I fuck normal now. I just, the first time, it's just, I felt like it should have went quicker than it did. All right. Well, I Check. fuck normal now. I fuck normal. Yeah. On a sh- well, I mean, like, it's. Put that on a shirt, Nick. I fuck normal I now. I fuck normal. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Uh, and then oh, after God. that, I'm pretty sure the first like real girlfriend I have after that was the second girl I had sex with, which is the one I'm talking about, like that the relationship. And her, it was like one of those ones where like was she like the one you sent of that nature. Uh, was she like that? Yeah, of the same. <laughs> you guys are so funny. You guys are so funny. You know what I don't understand. I'm like, why is this? Just say it. Because it's funnier when we don't. That's true. Yes, it is. It's 100 percent true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, half, half, half. That was uh, like the one, the that. one that Fuad, the one that Fuad texted in the group chat. That was half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yours, yours. Yeah, yeah, mine. Yeah. Half, hot, hot. Yes, half. Yeah, she was like that. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. almost the exact same color. I yeah. like half. I, I yeah. like half. Yeah. Half is good. Um, half. But is yeah, that first, really the good. first time A with her, of- I remember. Go the ahead. first time with her, I remember. I was. It was the first time I'd worn a condom, and I had. I came in like. 30 seconds and then i just kept going for like five minutes with like, you're like i don't want to you're like i don't want to tell her i finished already so i'm just gonna keep yeah. going <laughs> it felt so bad i was just like oh my god and i just like kept going you know oh god. i've done that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the fuck that I'm, if i'm done i'm not pretending i'm just done you want to hear this yeah, i was like fucking 15 well, nah, if it's too <laughs> fast I'm like, you want to hear a gross a disgusting a disgusting story that has nothing to do with me yes but my, well, room, um, my roommates in college this for sure has were, to do with you no, it's pretty, it, it does not. It, it, it's funny. It's, 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 it's gross and hilarious at the same time. My two roommates in college were banging two separate girls in the dorm room. I wasn't there. And but they told me the story and they both told me the story. And I'm like, that's disgusting. And I guess they only had one condom. So my buddy, oh, Ken, no. they traded condoms, used the condom and then gave, took the condom off, gave it to his roommate, Brian, and Brian turned it inside out. Oh, fuck the other girl. <laughs> So she got coming. That, that girl got coming her regardless. Yeah. So that girl got the other guys coming her. Oh my God, that is fucking he made it rinse, he made, maybe rinse it off. That girl. Uh, I, I wait didn't a ask for you details, know, this, but as soon as I, I, they told me that he took it off and turned, I was like, that's gross. Wait a minute. That's bad for everybody because now this girl has that guy's come in her, and this guy I, has that girl's STD. Why did you on just point to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> well, because I'm pretending yeah. I'm me and this guy and that girl and this girl. <laughs> Oh, this Larry, guy ready? If you had a, if you had to share a condom with somebody on the podcast, would it be? <laughs> no. Well, everybody's married, so like, no, I no. wouldn't share it with Nick, and I wouldn't share it with Guy. Why me? Because you guys, you are, guys are single, dirty single motherfuckers, and I don't know who Who's you're banging. Dirty. Well, you're just banging random people. I mean, who the fuck knows? <laughs> he's over. He's over here for me. He's over here for me. No, no, he's over here. He's over, over there? there. Yeah, he's over here. I can't on, get oh, on my on my screen. He's over here. Me? Oh, no, so no, he's down. He's down. He's, da- he's down here. You're there, and Ian's down here. <laughs> Nick, Nick, it's over here. Oh, wait, I'm gonna move Nick. <laughs> That's me on top. Oh, now, got, now, now Nick's up here. here. Yeah, yeah. Nick now, is over here. Yeah. All right, now Nick's here and Ian's here. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Ian's here. here. Yeah, Ian's and Ian's over, Ian's over there too. Yeah, yeah that's over here. Yeah. Okay. You're all just pointing at me. No, we were pointing at Nick. He's the last person we would share condom with. I'm highly offended. I'd probably share with James because I feel like his wife is the cleanest, most innocent of everyone. Uh, excuse me. My, so wife, back, my, wife, is, back my wife is super innocent. Yeah, That's true. You just, you just shit on my wife for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a close second. You're a close second. <laughs> I think Yannicka's the cleanest. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I told you, so, since, me and, since me and Nick are, are fucking outed, out yeah. of me and Nick, if you had a Choose between the two of who you would share it with. Who would, guy, you, would it guy, be? Guy, hundred percent guy, hundred percent guy. Who you would share it with or would not? 
I would share with Guy instead of Nick. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? <laughs> Nick, you're very promiscuous. I don't know where you've been. You don't answer In vagina. Half what do you mean? I know, okay. but there's <laughs> very various vaginas and buttholes. No, no, no. I my women are the Christian. Listen, guy, the I know, but guy guy doesn't go into buttholes. So it's like at least I know there's, there's like you have vaginas and buttholes. Yeah, you got you got poo particles on those condoms. Yeah, there's shit on your condom. I gotta put that on my condoms. Dick. I gotta <laughs> it's like you know what a condom is. <laughs> so fuck is a condom. Yeah, I'll this take Nick's true. condom. It's gonna be clean still in the package. <laughs> yeah you're just getting a brand new condom from nick yeah. <laughs> there you go, bud. Un- un- unopened still yeah uh all right fuck i gotta go i gotta drive uh my brother-in-law to work it's been two hours sorry okay, guys one, okay. all question. right we'll end with one more question one, one more question one good one make it good <laughs> well this is you always make it so pre- so much pressure nick Best way to meet up with meet like-minded people after a breakup. Next question. That's stupid. That's that's horrible. <laughs> Instagram. Next question. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> for Ben and Brett. Um, Lucky for them, they're not on here. Which one of you currently needs to wash their shaker the most? No. No. Everyone on the podcast in their prime and peak off-season living in the same house. How long till furniture starts breaking? Uh uh, depends uh, how good a furniture we buy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if there's a zombie apocalypse, who would be the last three men standing from the podcast? Three men, three men, three last me, guy, last three standing from the podcast. Me, guy, and Ben. Why Ben? I'm chopping like heads, ben, baby. ben lives on a farm. He's got some like life skills, you know. I learned how to shoot a gun last week or whatever, so I'm good. Yeah, for what's a professional fucking is like a is Ask- like a. Ask Branch. Branch said I'm a natural. I'm good. Maybe Roman. I could. I feel like Roman could be good in an apocalypse situation. I feel like Roman's. A, I feel like Roman's a barbarian. Yeah. No, Roman would tell the zombies stories. He'd be like, "Let me tell you something." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lean into the camera like that. Yeah, like, let me tell you something, zombie. Uh. Okay. I don't know, man. Fuad doesn't even have a gun to save himself. What? 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 what, what I I know. Yeah, see, ben, Ben's got a gun, right? Ben's got a rifle. So, so does so does Brett, though. Yeah. So, okay, scenario. You're dating a girl. She gets the bodybuilding lifestyle. She accepts that you eat, sleep, and breathe bodybuilding. She's awesome and perfect in every way. And then an old girlfriend that had a major oh. impact. Is it too long? No, I just, no I just it's, Nick, it's, 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 it's Nick's life story. Life story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and read then, it from the start. Read it again. Okay, it's long, dude. You're dating a girl and she gets the bodybuilding lifestyle. She accepts that you eat, sleep, and breathe bodybuilding. She's awesome and perfect in every way. And then an old girlfriend that had a major impact on your life comes out of the left field and hits you with a heavy heavy message. Heavy massage? (laughs) You want nothing to do with that, but your body feels different. How do you tell the new perfect girl that, one, the old girl sent you that message, two, you want nothing to do with her, but you need time to get over that hump? Perhaps too sappy for the podcast. I think he's stuck. He's with a new girl, but he still likes the old girl. And the old girl messaged her him, and he's like, "I don't know what to do." I'll oh, say this: like he if does you, Don't say shit. I I would say don't. Say I would shit. tell her. I would say don't say shit to the new girl and don't respond to the old girl. That yeah. way he didn't do. That way he didn't do anything wrong. But what if he likes the old girl? The old girl. Everybody the old, always the old, fucking. The, the old girl is the old girl for a reason. Yes. Yeah. It always yeah, but feels, it depends how they end it too. It always feels good to talk to the old Your girl. Your wife was once the old girl. Yeah, but I ex- oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm just gonna oh, leave that as a <laughs> he almost fucking he almost fucking pulled Kamika- it in and Kamikaze, it. Himself. Kamikaze himself. <laughs> uh okay, most of the time the old girl <laughs> the old girl never works out again. Yeah. True, it, I agree. It just always looks better from the pat from the looking back at it. The, old, the reason why you broke up with the old girl, those reasons are still there. You just haven't been exposed to them in a period of time because you're with a new girl. And you forgot about them. Yeah. 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 And until that you start you so you'll start talking to your old girl again. And after X amount of time, the things that reminded you of why you don't want to be with her are gonna arise. They, they, they come right back. I think yeah. some I think some guys are like this though. Some guys like a challenge and they like a little bit of drama. And he says yeah. this new girl is perfect. 
and she's easy and she likes bodybuilding. It sounds like the girl's really easy. And maybe the other girl represents like a little bit more drama chase. You ever you meet those, you ever, you ever, you ever meet those kind of guys though, that are like, yeah. The yeah. girl could be perfect, but she doesn't offer a challenge. So the guy's yeah. not, not as uh, I think a little challenge is good. Who I yeah. D block yeah. is like that to a T. Yeah, I know a couple guys. Dave, my buddy music, but... to a T. Yeah. Yeah. So I my wonder my problem if... is is that I always, if I date a girl and we break up, even if I break up, I'm really bad with with detaching from an ex. What well, well, apparently, I'm very, apparently. Bad I can... I'm very bad at like like goodbye shit, like never talking. Like, oh, like some well, some of my buddies are like. Yeah, we broke up. I'm like, have you talked to her? He's like, I haven't spoken to her since we broke up. I'm the, I'm very bad at that. I'm the opposite. I break up and then like I'll pretend like I'm still dating them for like Listen, a long time. <laughs> I break up with, the, I break up with a girl. I take a bag. Every single thing that's at my house that's hers goes in the bag. I drop it off at the house. I never talk to her again. Stop. Yeah, it's a good way to do it. So do you know the text you sent no. about the girl? Yeah. One. Yeah. So yeah. that was the only girl. Yeah that I took all her stuff that was in my house, yeah. minus one thing that's still hanging up in my house in my living room, yeah. everything, and I fucking was living in an apartment and brought and threw it all in the dumpster. <laughs> you didn't even give it back. You're just like, nope, fuck I you. threw it all in the dumpster. <laughs> all the clothes, the shoes uh, in the dumpster. I don't, I, I just never had an easy time with like the whole let's be friends. I'm like, we're not friends. We were dating and, that, and now we're not know. dating. I don't really want to be. No, friends. I don't want to. I'm not saying friends. I'm talking about like breaking up and just being like, oh, yeah, I'm done. Go ahead and move on. I'm bad with that. Yeah. I will not never be friends with an ex. Yeah, I'm having a tough time with that, too. I'm like, it's over. I'm, I'm I can't. I'm going to go on with my life now. I'm not, yeah, I'm, but I don't do any rude shit either. You know, how, like sometimes. No, like, no, no, no. I just can't be your friend. Yeah. Like, you know, how sometimes like a guy will break up with a girl and he'll be like, yeah, she's a slut. She's a whore. She's blah, blah, no, blah. No, no, I don't do any of that shit. I just don't say anything. I'm like, here's your stuff. I'm moving on. I'm done. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't bad mouth them. I don't like start rumors or do any of that fucking no, shit. People like, well, why did you and so-and-so break up? I'm like, oh, my house got bugged. That's just kind of. <laughs> That's Ian, Ian, what's your breakup? True story. What's your, what's, your, what's your breakup uh, protocol? Hello? Protocol. <sighs> My protocol is make the girl know. angry to fucking stop talking to me, so I don't have to br- do the breakup because I'm a pussy. I haven't, I haven't like really had a breakup in a long time. You know, you just yeah. bang chicks on toilets and then get married. Yes, guys, I gotta go. I'm sorry. All I'm right, sorry. bro. All right, let's talk next week. I apologize. I gotta right. like, okay, boys. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching. <laughs>